The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports, including Union University, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Good evening, and are you ready for some basketball? Because tonight, it's senior night. It's TCA and Jackson Christian School. You know in the boys' game, there was all kinds of excitement the last time we played, but this girls' game could be an exciting one. We looked so much better the other night, Brian. Absolutely. We, you know, first time around against USJ, we struggled a little bit. And our girls, we talked a lot about it on the broadcast, really battled uh, for four quarters and ended up losing by – about 10, but such a drastic difference in those teams. And I look forward to more of the same tonight from our girls, um, being able to, you know, improve on the effort uh, against TCA last time. Absolutely. And two good teams coming in here tonight to Jerry Eskew Gymnasium. And like I said, we're going to honor our seniors between games. And uh, Brian making some good adjustments there. I'm Coach Joe Holloway. And, of course, you are welcome tonight to the Ball Game Blitz Network. This, this will start out as the Great American Sports TV show on the Ball Game Blitz, produced by Worthy Road Studios on the Jackson Christian Book face, uh, Facebook page. And uh, we've got a great staff here tonight. Chris and Eric are with us. Summer, who has not been with us. All you Jackson Christian fans are familiar with her. She is back with us, probably going to do some baseball with us this summer, too, in, or in the spring. And Gary is here. Gary Lockhart's here, who produces that. And uh, we're going to have a great time tonight. All of our ball game blitz TV shows broadcast. The network is recorded in high definition and archived on YouTube. We also want to remind you that there's a great new show. If you watch the intro, Lightning Sports Show is coming, and it is high voltage, and it will be the most electrifying show in sports entertainment. Even better than a previous show I was on. That's the reason for the lightning bolts and things like that. Already know who the leadoff guest is, but I'm going to tease you, and it's a good one. It's a former UT player, and I will tease you with this. UT fans, on that show, you wouldn't have a national championship in 98 if it wasn't for one particular play made by this young man. But that is not what is important tonight. What is important tonight is... The Lions and the Eagles, and Brian, we need to make hay while the sun shines. Yes, sir. Uh, we're excited about um, this game. Excited about being senior night. Of course, the girls uh, with the lone senior in Trinity Brooks and uh, five senior boys that will be um, honored here tonight, and, and that's always good. And two cheerleaders, I believe. Two um, cheerleaders. But that's always good to honor their, those folks and their commitment um, to the basketball program over the years, and just an exciting night. And Anytime you can be in a gym on a Friday, uh, district matchup, crosstown matchup, it, it gets your uh, blood flowing a little bit. Okay, let's talk about just for a second before we take a break, the opposition a little bit. They are led by Olivia Lee, and if I call her Olivia Gehring, that's her mother's maiden name who played for me. Then there is a Gehring. It's Kirk Gehring's daughter who uh, I worked with Kirk some. They were both at Northside, the parents, but – and their dad, I hope, is listening to our broadcast, their granddad. Uh, Pops is home, Miss Carrie. His wife has got COVID, so we wish both of them well and a good broadcast. So we've got some TCA fans listening to us tonight. They also have, besides Alyssa Gehring, they have a young lady, Carden Vales. The other two young ladies hustle. They rebound, and but you got to stop the big three first. Yeah, and, and you know what you're, you're gonna, going up against. Um, Livy Lee scored. Uh, last time I think we played them, they, they announced her 2,000 points. and um, She had thir what, 31 against us that night. Yeah, it was, it was close, something like that, Coach. And uh, Cardin Bell's at point guard makes them go. And so 
uh, you know, it's it's a tough matchup. She had a really good first half. Uh, Coach Schutz made some defensive adjustments and was able to slow her down just a little bit there. And so we'll see uh, second time around in the in the district. We'll see what happens and what adjustments both teams have made. Well, they come in 17-5, and 4-1 and one in the district. They're only lost to USJ, who's undefeated in the district. We are 3-3 three and three in the district in a good spot to not have to play in one of the play-in games. And uh, we've got a tough road trip, though, coming up. This is a tough game. But then we've got games that if we'll take care of business, including the tough road trip, hey, we can finish third or fourth and uh, make something happen there. That's where we need to be, Brian. Yes, and, and this has been a not a normal year. Um, you know, Riley got getting hurt last year. Uh, it's been a big loss. But then you have, you know, Blakely, who plays a ton of minutes. You have Carly, who goes down early, who was playing some really good basketball. And so if you took our, our girls that have been, been out, um, that's a pretty good squad. And for, for these girls to continue to compete and battle night in and night out and get better um, is, is a testament to Coach Hughes and it's a testament to them and how hard they work. Tony's the man. We love him to death. And Russ, remind folks, Blakely Melton is out also tonight. I got hold of the injury list, and ours is longer than some of the NFL and NBA teams. We're going to take a time out here on the Worthy Road Ball Game Blitz Network, Jackson Christian Facebook page, and we're going to come back with more info on this important ball game. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studio. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports, including Union University, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Nissan and Carlock Prestige, the name you can count on. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. 
We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with elite dental care and let your smile say it all. It is basketball time in Jackson, Tennessee at Jerry Eskew Gymnasium. And we are three minutes and 58 seconds away from this big district, very important district contest. TCA has to keep pace. They get USJ, I believe, at home, or they've got one more game with them. We need the win because we want to make sure we are at least in the top four places and don't have to play one of those extra play-in games or something. And uh, that won't put us... I mean, that won't keep us from having to play and fight for a semifinal berth, but you don't want to play that extra game in tournament action. Brian, what are some keys to victory for the Lady Eagles? Yeah, I, judging by um, our last contest, it's important to know. It sounds obvious, uh, but it's important to know where Olivia Lee is, and she does move well without the ball. Um, that's a team that does share the ball well. We have to keep them out of transition, and we have to make sure that we secure rebounds and limit them to one shot when they miss. It's going to be – it's tough enough dealing with the offense, but if you give them second chances, uh, it, it can make for a long night. So we really have to do a good job of securing rebounds and finishing out possessions defensively. And offensively, you got to take care of the basketball. we got to, we got to handle it against the press. Um, when we did that last time, we got good shots. And we, we continue to – um, Coach, I, I think drive the ball to the basket pretty well. Um, now this team will take charges, uh, so we have to be under control. We got to make sure that, that we have our body control and, and we don't run over them. They are very good at that. Something we need to do also to Olivia Lee. She loves to go to the hole and get fouled. We need to make her pull up and shoot the jumper. Don't get me wrong, she's got a great jumper, but I'd rather have her shooting the jumper than I had the layup. Yeah, we got you got to make them take low percentage shots versus their strengths and what they do well and um, it's no secret and the the thing I love about our girls is it doesn't matter the challenge they're going to they're going to rise up to it and play hard they really will and in just about a minute and a half we will be going away then when we come back from that Brian Bullard will bring you the starting lineups for both teams we see Matthew Coble and our head coach Tony Shoots dapperly attired as he always is Tony knows how to style and profile, but he knows how to coach basketball. And we've had a great season, but four people out right now that had minutes played, and some of them were starters. I think they've done well. And let's be honest, Gibson Boykin is playing. Uh, she'll give you 100% effort, but she's playing at about 85 to 90% of her efficiency. Yeah, she, you know, with the high ankle sprain, and uh, I don't know exactly what it was, but what you do know that it's some type of sprain. That's hard to – um, judge really how well you're going to be able to bounce back from it. But she's worked hard to get there and, and gave us some good minutes against USJ the other night. And I would expect the same thing out of her tonight. Well, I know she's strapped in hard there. We see some of our great fans over across the way at uh, their table. And there will be more of them piling in here. And by the time the boys' uh, game goes on, uh, you may only be able to watch Brian and I on the face. Remember, it's on Facebook, and uh, we're going to – go here in a minute remember the new show starting february the 11th and i'm going to go ahead and tell the fans about the tease but when i do it'll be after the starting lineups of who's going to be the first guest on the new show and tca and uh, also our eagles will be in that show let's take that time out when we come back we'll be ready for starting lineups Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. 
With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Nissan and Carlock Prestige, the name you can count on. Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. And we are back uh, after the great rendition of the national anthem and here's the man with the plan the tower power brian bullard with the starting lineups and starting number four a senior guard amelia gehring number five camden maxfield number five a senior guard camden maxfield And number 11, also a senior guard, Carden Bales. Number 20. Number 20. Anna Sanders is a junior guard. And the final starter for the Lady Lions is number 22, senior Olivia Lee. And number 22. Lions coached by Matthew Coble, assistant coaches Rod Parker and Ansley Ross. And the starters for your Lady Eagles. Number four, she's a forward, Lily Barnes. Number 11, she's a guard, Taylor Baines. And number 15 on senior night, the lone senior. Trinity Brooks. Number 22, forward Elena Yarbrough. And the final starter for your Lady Eagles is number 34, Tess Little. Lady Eagles coached by Tony Schutz, assisted by Kim Watson, Haley Janice, and Coach Kristen Moore. And for the thousands in attendance and the millions listening at home, we are just about ready for Lady Eagle and Eagle basketball. Brian, we need to get off to a fast start. Yeah, that's important. Uh, you don't want to fall behind. You want to get out, uh, play well early, get some defensive stops and some rebounds and put a lot of pressure on the, on the lines. <clears throat> Absolutely. Looking for a very great effort out of our Lady Eagles tonight. You know that – the Lady Lions, they're going to give you a great effort. Uh, you have a Miss Basketball. Two years ago, they were the state tournament winners. Last year, they caught in a semifinal game the recruited team that has only three players from the state of Tennessee that don't play and uh, nine that come from overseas or New York State. And I make no bones about it. The TWSAA has to address that recruiting situation there it's uh one of those but hey lee is going to jump against brooks and it ought to be a good jump lee controls the tip it is picked up by sanders and we are ready to play some basketball ball move quickly around our zone and they drive the baseline they being tca shot missed rebound tca up and in 
And that's what we've got to avoid is those shots right there. A steal, and we can't turn it over. Now we can wheel and deal and make some stuff happen. And that was Lee with that bucket, wasn't it? Yes, sir. I wanted to make sure I got it right. He never turned it, but I can tell by the ponytail. Nice play, but Lee comes over and blocks it. Brian, I thought we had something going there. Yeah, good back door, back screen. Nice play by Lee. Tess Little with the basketball. She picks it up, hits Yarber, or Brooks, actually. Brooks kicks it off. Barnes may have got away with a shuffle, and they blocked another shot, and this time Lee's got the rebound. Let's put them in the paratrooper club. Ladies, put that head fake out there. Two to nothing, your score early in the contest. We cut the lane off. They feed inside. We didn't come over quick enough, but we got a break on that one. Must drop and come across. I'm like you. I don't know. Uh, Floyd got it right. He Just, got it right. Yeah, yeah. he missed Philip and changed it. I think it was one of those he pointed the wrong direction, but he, he got it right. <clears throat> yeah, we love Floyd to death. Floyd, that is Floyd flipping. I thought it was. I hear a whistle and a push. And, and we, th Coach, those are the fouls that we were picking up against USJ where they're trying to come through our back and we're meeting our passes, and those are important. And much better job by us on those things like that, too. Just her first foul. This is on Alyssa Gehring. We go with two high posts, almost uh, the old A formation, some people call it. It's got several names. Brooks gets it knocked away. She's hitting the back. Wow, what a job by Yarber. Tight roping that one. Down to Tess. Let's see, Tess wants to wheel and deal. Left-handed dribble out of there. We step out with Brooks. Give her driving room. They'll switch on her. They go back inside. And there's got to be, yes, this good call right there. So, Brooks, it's on the floor, but she will pick up a foul on another player, which is Sanders, number 20. Her first team second. Brian, good play. Yeah, good post position. You can see that off arm had, had wrapped around her waist. Now, TCA is switching everything, and they matched up well, but good job by Brooks to get free. Here comes the shooter's test a little in, the crow hop step, or the euro if you prefer that term. Well, sometimes you got to watch that now. It, it was close. Yeah, it was close. I thought she might have got that hand on top of the basketball, but the officials saw it that way. Yep. And uh, be <clears throat> right about it. We need a basket early. I hate to say it. The man, coach, we're just two minutes into the game, but we really need to get that basket and get going. Good defensive stand so far, and they throw it out of bounds. No, we tipped it. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you the officials were wrong because they weren't. Don't forget that our pregame show was brought to you by Great American Sports, one of our great sponsors, Mitchell's. They sponsor a lot of things here at Jackson Christian. Good defense. They got it in, but I had a four count, Brian. Yeah, I thought Trinity had a, had a beat on that ball, but just right through her hands. Just did. Now, they have a cutter. We picked the cutter up good. Lots of pressure there. And we got it. And another foul on Trinity. That will be their third. Let's see who the official says. I've got 11. He's got 11. That's Carden Vales. We did two really good things there, keeping the ball handler in the corner, and we had front – Front help with Lee and backside help. Really good job there. Watch the switching when we make a screen or have a dribble handoff. That time we try to pass that really didn't have the angle in Lee, but make her pull up and shoot the jumper. Good back tip. I yep. like that. We got to pursue the basketball. We can't assume a shot's going in or going up. We got to keep pursuing. 524, mm -hmm. low scoring game so far. Tony shoots working hard down there. They run a play off of a two-man screen at the block. Shot it. It's off the front of the iron. Gehring shot a little short. Brooks, who's always around the ball somewhere, steals, rebounds, you name it. Trinity Brooks, we're going to miss her, Brian. Yeah, she does a lot for this ball club. Good softball player will be going to play softball in college. Now they're playing good defense this time. Look, at Taylor Bain's going to take it to the hole, and she passes off. It's a good pass. Just missing the shot, and here's Lee with, I know, at least her second. No, it's her third because she had an offensive rebound. 450, and they're now on the offense. Only one score in the basket, and that belongs to Lee, and they're unforced turnover. We'll take it, though. Yeah, miscommunication there by the Lions. We need to capitalize. Quickly to Brooks. Brooks gives the little head fake, goes the little half hook, comes off the iron, and Vail's in there very quickly, and she'll bring it up the floor, Seth, because it's almost like they're playing with five guards out there. 
And Lee has good height. She's probably the tallest girl on the floor. But she can play guard and wing, signed with Union University. And here comes Gibson Boykin in. Her dad was up here earlier and uh, didn't get a chance to talk Grant. He was a pretty good athlete in his own right. Three up off the iron. You know who got it? Trinity Brooks. And she's going to go and try to make the girl player. Lays it up and in, and we got a tie score. Excellent job by Trinity taking it all the way. Nobody stopped her. Able to finish that layup, get us on the board. Two all. Brooks with a nice move, and she got ahead of steam. This is Gearing going good block. Wow. We're playing now. You know what? Intensity goes up when you start scoring. That's right. Here comes Boykin. Boykin ahead to Baines. Baines wants to go the Euro, and it goes in, and she could play a contortionist at the circus. Excellent shot there and finished by Taylor Baines. How did she twist her body up like that to get that shot off? Hey, Ridgely Reagan did that uh, when we were at their house with a scoop layup from all kinds of twisting action. Jalen had the big shot. This is Gehring with it, wants to go, dribbles it off somebody's foot, and then she gets it back after when neither player really tried hard to get that one. This one up off the iron, the left-handed Maxwell shot. Shot up, and let's see if it goes in. That's got to keep Lee off the boards, too. It did. She'll break the tie and try for an old-fashioned three-point basket, and she is a good rebounder. Checking in, Tori Robinson for TCA. And, Brian, did you get the other one? I Number missed two, one. Number two, I think it's Kate Nethery. Nethery right? coming yeah. in. Shot it. It comes off the iron. That one will surprise you because she is a great free throw shooter. Ball goes out of bounds off us. Now, those are the things we don't need. It's tied at four. TCA will run a little different set this time. They get it in. They're going to take it around the horn. Down, Lee wants to wheel and deal. She makes a nice cross-court pass. The shot up, rolls around, and fell in. Shooter's touch. That looked like Cardin Vales from here. And it was. Now, they've got the trap on us. Good look at Gibson meet it. Brian's point, well taken. Yeah, just sped us up there. And a good idea by Taylor, if she could have got that ball on the ground just a little bit quicker maybe, I think it would have been a legal move. Oh, it, I, I think it would have. It was too. close. It was just a hair late. What is it? They said now, Allison Wonderland, I'm late, I'm late, I'm terribly late. Well, she was a hair late. And to Gehring, she tries to feed on the baseline with Nethery running the baseline. It'll belong to the Lady Eagles, and here comes the 1-2-1-1, one, one, one. and actually they match up, make it a 1-2-2 two, two press. Matching up, they'll try to trap the first pass, but we get out of there quicker. Watch the back tip. Nice pass to Yarbrough, up and in, and this is a 6-4 game. Great job by Gibson being under control, taking what the defense gives you. It's 6-6, six, six actually. I left out the basket they had a minute ago, and I didn't see that it was writing, Brian. Was yeah, Gehring got the lay-in inside. Okay, Gehring, she's got her fourth point. It's 8-6. They've taken the lead. Euro step, left it short. Was there a foul there, Brian? Uh, it looked like there was contact. Trini left it way short, but maybe she just didn't get it up high enough. Tess Little looked like she's going to come back into the game. Elena looks like she's limping just the hair. Baines will take a rest. It'll be Lady Eagle basketball. And we've got a little different formation than usual. Deep pass to Tess. She'll field it. Her relative, Kelly Harper's Vol, Lady Vols, lost to Connecticut. But that doesn't mean anything about this game. It just means she's kin to Kelly Harper. Boykin, and they sw they're switching everything. You'll, hopefully we'll slip a screen. Uh, that one got knocked away. Interesting. Adrago is in there. This is a shot up off the iron by Vales. Rebound Lee. Nice move, but it comes out. She'll reverse layup. And there's a block, and it's going to be off of us. But what defense? Yeah, good defense. A lot of contact. Uh, Coach Coble not happy with it, but uh, officials were down there and, and saw it as a, as a block. Here is the three up off the back of the iron, rebounds, and Brooks had it. He'll, she'll have to retrieve it, and they'll trap her immediately. 
Tony was asking for a call, and I don't think we got it. We've got the basketball, but not the call. Maxwell ready to check back in. Camden Maxwell, the senior. I think we're fortunate to get that one back. I thought it might have hit off yeah, I'm Gibson's like leg, you. but also a lot of contact there as well. But we're not going to complain. That's right. Tess gets it, gets a high screen. They didn't come out on Yarber. Yarber may wind up having to shoot a three. Glad Gib uh, Gibson backed off of that one. They're doing a good job taking that pass away. We've got to be careful when we drive baseline, thinking it's just going to be there. Absolutely. Into Yarborough. Bay Barnes has got it. She's posted up. It's all reach in, a couple of things, but the baseline official said no advantage was gained. Interesting. Our zone flexes looks a little more 2-3, but it'll have different looks, like I told you, like the amoeba that you learn about in biology class. 8-6, Trinity with the lead. Time runs down about 35 seconds. Get it over on the side, and they bring it back out front. That was Maxwell to Lee. Lee with 26 seconds wanted it. We cut her off good. She throws the hook pass cross court. They feed inside. They're going to get us for bumping nethery. Mm, interesting. Yeah, uh, we've seen that contact called and not called, so a little, little inconsistency there, but good defense nonetheless, I feel like. And you know what? Coaches holler, consistency. Addison Gosley, the sophomore, 5'7", checks in. Good pressure, by, but that we don't pick up, but we still recovered on the inbounder stepping in shot. Off the iron, Lee floated a little too much. Boykin motoring down at eight seconds. Gets it ahead to Brooks. Brooks wants it, going to leave it a little short, and here comes TCA with about two seconds. And will they get it off? Yes, they get the shot off in time, but it is no good at the end of one quarter play. TCA eight, Our Lady Eagles six. Let's take a timeout. on Carlock Automotive, Van Drive, Jackson. Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, brown recluse spiders, and other hard-to-treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a crawl space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite and Pest Control can handle all of your termite and pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731 660 we are back. Brian, some thoughts about that first quarter. We trailed by two. Yeah, tell of two quarters from uh, the last time these two teams matched up. I think they put up 16 or 18 points um, in the first quarter, and, and Coach, our defense is doing a great job. Eight points, and, and a couple of times if we get an offensive rebound, they may not have that many points. And so we're doing a great job defensively. Let's see if we can turn those stops into some points on the offensive end. And it'll be Jackson Christian Lady Eagle basketball to start this quarter. We're only down by two. I think we've got our turnovers down some. Too. We've had some, but not like we did in that first game. Yep. Got to run a guard through cut. We're going to have a screen and roll. They'll switch it and sometimes jump it. Our boys do a lot of that jumping like that on screens. And uh, sometimes you can slip those. Brooks kicks out. Baines up. It goes high off the top of the backboard, but not out. And TCA will come up with the basketball. Good offense there. Just wasn't able to convert the shot. That one could have easily fallen. We get got to get our rotation. We left a shooter open. And down on the baseline, that looked like Sanders, number 20, with a three. And it's now 11-6. Sanders, if you let her set her feet, can shoot that shot. Here we go inside Yarber. But we forgot something, the basketball. Back to Tess Little. She'll look it over and see what she's got. They are playing player-to-player -player defense. There's the guard through cut, the step out for the screen and roll. This time, Bales fights through it. Go to Boykin. She gets the screen, but they switch that. Now, here's Brooks. Tess wants the three. Tess little in and out. 
TCA with a good block out. Brooks picks up instantly. They're running through our screens. If we'll fall, yeah. we'll get those called. Yep. And they get a basket that a little too easy, that one. And, again, that is Sanders. She's got five in the contest, and it's 13-6. Tony probably won't let us go one more trip without either holding them or us getting a score. Count was on. Boykin gets it back. There's the high screen. And we got nothing. And they're going to – let's see what's called. Okay, that is on Camden Maxwell, her first, team fourth. We have two team fouls on us. Out to Brooks. Sooner or later, either Brooks or Yarber's got to crank a three, Brian. Here is Boykin, and she did. Bottom. Yeah, I was hoping Gibson would have shot the last one she called over there, but a good job getting her feet set, knocking that one down. 13-9. Around the horn goes TCA, right baseline. Off, we had one good block out, but we failed by the boys. Yarber got a block. Nobody dropped down to help on Lee, and she picks up the points. I've got her unofficially with six. It's 15-9. As we learn more about this zone defense that we're playing now, everybody thinks zones are easy to rebound out of. In theory, really, man-to-man is better for rebounding. Right. But we play a good trapping zone, cut passing lanes. Our wing players just have to drop a little quicker sometimes. <laughs> Want to run the one four? Little gets it, goes. I thought they had a saddle on her that time. We're going to throw it back in before it's backcourt. Brooks and Yarb are very agile. Both of them have had to do that so far. Vale's playing a little bump and run with Boykin. There's Brooks three, just off the iron. It was a great shot, Brian. Yeah, it looked good from where we were. Taylor in there fighting for the offensive rebound. Vales down, quick pass to Gehring. Gehring shot off the back of the iron. And we steal it, but we have to flip it back in, and Vales ever present with it. And well, they'll get Tess with the foul there. Be third team foul. Good hustle by Gibson and, and a smart place to throw it. Uh, we just didn't have anybody running there to, to grab it. That's Tess' first foul. I see checking in for them. Tori Robinson, a freshman, wears number 12. She wanted to go to the hole immediately. Back out deep, and they'll make Vales start from the three-meter line in volleyball. Garing driving her shot up, and she has a nice running one-hander for a basket. You can see the Thompson and Smith scoreboard there, time and everything, the score, and a travel. Now, we've got to refocus a little bit. Yeah. We're coming just, not unglued, but we've lost a little focus. Yeah, some tired legs, I think, too. It's been an up-and-down uh, game, and, and like you said, we can't have the, the unfor unforced turnovers. Well, so you've got four girls that are out for or some more extended time that would normally be in there. We left a hole in there, and you can't do that. Lee will burn you to death. It's 19-9, 10-point lead. And Tony wants to talk to the wing players and a few other folks about a couple of holes in there. He'll get them patched up. We want you to take a great time out here on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. A basketball good here at Jackson Christian SQ Gymnasium. The food is good. Thank you, Chuck, and all the people down there. Some quick thoughts, Brian. Yes, sir. We, you know, they extended out this lead, but we're still doing a good job. We just have to finish our possessions. We can't give up the offensive rebounds, and we have to make them score over us. We can't give them easy baskets. 
Um, and they've gotten a couple layups here. I think some tired legs. And so good time out there by Coach Schutz and hopefully uh, rejuvenated our girls and finished this four minutes strong going into the half. Well, there's four girls that are injured and can't play. And for a little more extended period, it would have already been in there in the first quarter. That uh, not necessarily starting, but we had a great substitution pattern for the injuries. Mm -hmm. Boy, can the, the count's on. She should have, that should have broken the count then. I won't argue with Floyd. He's one of my attorneys. Here's Brooks. Thought she had one. And Lee has got a multiplicity of rebounds tonight. She's scoring is great, but forget that. She has really played Windex Lady for them. We knock it away. Boykin comes up with the loose ball. Yarber fighting hard in there. Well, they were Taylor Baines. It was a little rough on Taylor down in there. I saw some hands and some bumping. And kick out to Yarber. She wants the baseline. They kick it out. We got a three. If she can get bent, she does. Just missing and coming off there. Oh, I wanted to drop the bottom on him. TCA very lucky then. Our transition defense was not good that time. We got caught looking. Yeah, can't stand and watch on the after the possession change. We got to sprint back. And that's Robinson's first basket. See my good friend Dave McCulley with the TCA broadcast. One of the deans of broadcasters. He's also the SID and play-by-play -play man for Bethel University. Nice feed. Uh, um, to see, they're going to call jump ball. I say there were penalty in, in the shoulder area. There should have been a foul call. Yeah, physical play there, a lot of contact, but Bales did a good job digging down for the basketball and got a jump ball. I think it's a good sub, getting Trinity a little bit of a break. With some tired legs. She's running. We're going to have to use our bench the best way we can with their depth. You're absolutely right. Robinson in to Bales, their, their veteran point guard. Look at Yarbrough. She may have knocked out of bounds, folks, but there is value to breaking up their offense like that. Yeah, we got to get them out of rhythm, force them to, to get into their second and third option. I need to defend this well, keep it out of the lane, don't give up an easy three, make them work for it. Sanders drives, kicks. Robinson get, kicks it off. They try throw across. They feed Lee high, and we got a piece of that one. And we did the right thing, still came up with it. Wow, Taylor Baines gets it out of there. Here goes Yarber, and they'll try to double her. Sometimes I wish they had an earpiece in their ear, and I'd tell them where to throw the ball. They steal it back. We steal it back. Looks. Here's the shot. Boykin, oh, just missing. It scraped the front of the iron there on the rim, on the inside part. Hey, great defense by Yarbrough. Yeah, great defense. I like the aggressiveness by Gibson uh, shooting that shot over there. Made one and had two rim out. Just got to keep shooting it. Coming just maybe a little bit too much out of the fork of her hand. It's hand placement import. Not a bad job defending that, even though they got it and picked up a loose ball. We're going to get the rebound. Boykin's got it. She gets it out of there. Barnes has got to watch for the wolf coming. The wolf a term. She gets by the wolf and gets the bucket. We have climbed back to within an 10. Good drive by Lily. Going to somebody stop her. Now, when you say wolf, that means that somebody's coming up from behind you, your teammates, and if you're on your end, your bench needs to yell and let you know that. Shot off the back of the iron by TCA. Yarbrough hustling over there to get it. Did they get the timeout? No, we didn't call one then. Sometimes you have to save them. You can't do everything like that. Looks like Gehring coming back in, and Hadrago. Riley Hadrago wearing number 25 is back in there. Here's Gehring, left wing, wants to penetrate, kicks it across to Hadrago down on the baseline. The shot is up, coming off. They get the rebound, though, and it's blocked by Boykin, but we don't hold on to it, and we got to get possession of the ball, and they're going to get a holding foul or reach. Yeah, we, we have to pursue the basketball as a team, and, and that one was on the ground for a little bit, and and we kind of let it let it bounce around, and not a bad foul by Barnes uh, to st stop a potential easy basket. Lily with her second foul, team fourth. We break that up. Good job, Yarber. You always keep it out of that lane. Yep. Make them earn anything. Here comes Brooks. Carol Kendrick into the game. 
uh, giving some fresh legs for the Lady Eagles. Maybe Carroll can get a couple of those patented threes of hers. They throw it deep. Tess had it, but lost her balance. Here's Lee from the left wing. Three up off the iron. TCA with the rebound, kicking it out to Adrago. She kicks it down to the baseline. Shot by Gehring up, left-handed, no good. Rebound inside, it comes off the rim, and Yarbrough pivots. She's going to be trapped, but she's got the nice cross-court pass to Tess Little, and she comes streaking up there and looked like Nethery knocked it away, but we're alert. Kendrick, then we didn't wait for Barnes, but Barnes hustled and scrapped. That one comes off, but Brooks has got it. She'll go up. She'll shoot two. Great fight from these Lady Eagles, Coach. They're, they're Did you all see over Barnes the place. down there? Yeah. She picked the splinters out of her legs after that one. No, our floor is good. There's no splinters in this floor. Brooks will go to the line for two. She's not been there tonight. Second foul on Sanders. Fifth team foul. I know what's wrong. It's coming out of this, uh, as I talk about the fork, but look at that. Not from Brooks. It's not. It's good. <laughs> Looks like Bain's coming back in. TCA Vales is coming back in. Maxwell also. Second shot. Shot it. It comes off the rim. Oh, I wanted to. Maybe if I had blown a little harder with the breath, it would have fallen in then. This is Vales, a little yo-yo dribble or hesitation. We break it up. Brian, yeah, no. I like our defense so far. Absolutely. We may be down nine. That is the end of the first half of play, but what a half. TCA has 21. We have 12. We're down nine. We will come back after a two-minute timeout, a two-minute timeout. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. At McCoy's Heating and Air, our number one priority is keeping you and your loved ones cozy this holiday season. If your HVAC system needs an upgrade, call McCoy's for quick, quality installation. Don't wait. With the purchase of your new unit, you will receive our Keep Cozy gift bag filled with cozy essentials for the cold weather ahead. To schedule your system upgrade, call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. And we're back here at Cherry Eskew Gymnasium. We've got a score uh, TCA Lions 21, Lady Eagles uh, 12. Coach Teichman, our boys coach, joining us here at halftime. Coach Teichman is a tale of two different games uh, for our, our Lady Eagles from the last last go around against these uh, lines. And then tonight, what do you see from our girls that's a little bit different from that? Man, you know, they're handling the ball well. Like, they're, we're getting shots most of the time. Um, now they're a little, little rushed because they cover ground so quickly. We're getting open looks, and, and if you, you know, make enough of them, you got a chance. Um, but even even thought this watching on Tuesday, like it's been another physical game for on the girls' side. So they they get after it, and the officials are letting them play. So um, they're they're fun to watch because they play so hard. And if they can get a couple of those open threes to fall, it could, it could really change the game. So you've seen with your practices, and, and when you're around, you see Coach Shoes' practices as well. Does it look like to you that our girls are starting to understand how he wants to play that zone? And it's causing a lot of issues, and especially when we can get out in the passing lanes. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting over there right behind our bench, and it's just analyzing as a coach. It's hard to see where the openings are because they're covering ground so quickly. And 
Uh, they spend a lot of time on it on the rotations, and they're unique and they're different. So I can imagine it took a while to kind of figure that out. But uh, it seems like at the right time, they're, they're starting to play a lot better on that end. Absolutely. Coach, we, we talked uh, Tuesday at USJ. Um, and, you know, that's a game that – it's a rivalry game, and um, you want to win. You want to win that, that game. You want to win every time you go out on the floor, but especially that game. And, and it looked like um, maybe a little little too tense, maybe some pressure. Uh, some guys maybe put a little pressure on themselves. They don't normally do, but, you know, we – overall, we were there. Um, they, they never went away. When we would make a little run, um, it seemed like it was a good back and forth and just came up short. Uh, give me your thoughts from Tuesday – uh, and then we'll move forward to tonight. Yeah, I mean, obviously upset. Um, just didn't think we played. We started well. We got up 7-0 and, and really had a chance to put them away, I think, because they, they really struggled playing from behind and just took our foot off the gas. And I, I don't know if uh, we, were, we were complacent because we'd already beaten them and thought it was going to be easy. But they're, you know, they're tough and well coached, and they, they really took it to us from that point on. So um, it was disappointing um, and, and upsetting and all those things. But you've got to – you got to learn from it. you got to get over it because you got another one tonight. And if you're still thinking about Tuesday, that's, that's not going to turn out well for us tonight. Yeah, and, and we've talked about this before. Uh, you know, I'm a football coach, but have coached basketball. Um, and <clears throat> baseball is similar to basketball. You don't – you got to turn around and get ready. And so Tuesday, you know, you take one on the chin a little bit, but you don't have time to sit around. you got a very good um, ball club coming in here tonight. And, and maybe it's a little added fire. Um, you know, the, the last time we played them, um, <clears throat> our guys hung in there, kept fighting, and then Jay hits that shot from, at, from you know, the other three-point line. We win the game. So they're going to come out with some added um, pressure. What do you look like – what do you look for them to do maybe different than the last time we played them? I don't know they'll do too much differently. I mean, they – and that's not a knock by any means because we're very similar where both of us kind of have a predefined style of play and we don't really veer from – what we do. Um, I think there's a, they'll try to take advantage inside on, on some of our switches possibly. Um, they really tried to back door us a few times over there, so they may have some new wrinkles put in, but we try to prepare for what we see. So when you start trying to, um, you know, play the hypotheticals of well, what if they do this, I mean, I, I try to stick with what they've been doing, and they've been um, a pressure man-to-man -man team with some full court stuff the entire year, and they've got their three or four different offensive actions and alignments they like so um, that's kind of what we're preparing for we've got a few you know just new wrinkles that we'll we'll try out and see from watching it but uh, I think it's just going to be a battle because it's it's a rivalry so they're going to play hard but it's it's two really good teams that are part of a rivalry so and I'm going to go back to something you said the last time we talked um, at Trinity you talked about how most of the time our guys play harder than the other team and we won't play harder than them they they match our physicality they coach Williams has them playing hard 100% all the time, so it comes down to execution. And we you know, we had a four-point lead, a two-point lead um, there for most of that game, and then they just hit a couple shots there late, went up by six, but we just kept fighting, kept battling. Is that what it's going to take tonight, just to battle, just to grind every possession? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those that, um, you know, most likely comes down to the wire, so it, it's going to be tough, and there are going to be swings, and both teams are going to play hard because – not only do you want to win, but you're looking at, you know, some pretty important tournament seating on the line and, and people that are, you know, trying to win a regular season championship. So um, it's everything you want in the game. We're in a position to, to control our own destiny and win the league if we take care of business. So um, and they're, they're in the same boat. So uh, it's going to be physical. It's going to be intense. Um, it's going to be everything, you know, that you want. I don't know if they can top the last time just because yeah. of the way that ended. But um you know, our guys haven't backed down from a challenge all year, and I don't anticipate them doing that tonight. Coach, I'm excited. Friday night in the gym, uh, district matchup, crosstown matchup. Crowd is going to be really good. Crowd's good right now for the girls' game. I hope these I hope these fans get into it, bring try to get these girls back in this game here in the second half. As always, we appreciate your time uh, here at halftime, and, and good luck tonight, um, and, and let's go get it done. All right, thank you so much. That's Coach Kyle Teichman, our, our men's coach for your Jackson Christian Eagles. Lady Eagles down 21-12 to 12 here at halftime. About three minutes to go before we start the second half. We'll take a two-minute timeout and be back on the Ballgame Blitz. For anyone contemplating pre-planning, we can tell you from our experience, it's much easier to make funeral plans and record them now than wait until emotions are running at their highest. With pre-planning, you can free your mind and heart from having to make big decisions during a time of grief and instead enjoy the freedom to focus on the memories of a life well lived.
Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. back here after that break at Jerry B. Eskew Gymnasium. You just heard uh, Coach Kyle Teichman give his thoughts on the girls' game uh, and along with what he expects from his guys tonight and, and TCA tonight. Our girls, once again, 21-12 hit the half. Really good effort from them, really good intensity on the defensive end. We just got to convert some of those shots on the offensive end. Had some threes rim in and out. Um, but we're, we're at a pretty good uh, place and much better than, than the last time we, we faced this Lady Lions team. Coach Joe is totaling up uh, some points here that we'll give to you in just a minute. I had to go check the official book because ours are only – we're going to get the basketball. Lily Barnes to inbound. There's a little contact already right there between yep. Boykin and Gearing. The uh, – if you'll watch, uh, you know, I talked to several people down that way, and they agree. There's a nice move by Elena, even though she got fouled. Um, I thought she was going to have the Kevin McHale move all the way. Yep. Uh, a couple of people on both teams rushing their shots, heads not in the center. Little things are causing them to miss these threes and stuff. We run a box. We X our post players down to the block. We kick out to Brooks. She wanted to wheel and deal. Boykin did too, but the good good defense. Our cheering section very active over there. You're listening to this game and watching it on Worthy Road Studios in the ball game blitz. Jackson Christian's Facebook page will be archived tomorrow night as you see it go into the corner. Nice job to Brooks. She's going to want to reverse it. Will it fall? Yes, bottom. Excellent body control. Good job there by Trinity using her body against a taller defender. And I've got... Five for Brooks. Now we need some defense. We're in a zone. Three across the baseline right now. Not looking like our normal. It's more like a 1-1-3, one, one, which Tony has played before when he was at the other school that he coached at. This time we let him get the baseline. You're not going to stop Lee down there very often. Yeah, the problem was before that, they're setting the back screen and, and we're not moving. we got to recognize that back screen and, and move and cover down. We talk sometimes, we don't talk enough, but we have such nice, dainty voices, too. We're, we've got ladies on our team. We do. That's a good play by TCA. Vale stepping in there to knock it away, and Lee alertly picked it up, comes down the floor with her head up, the Union signee. Now, her and Gehring both have signed with Union. Gehring's going to play soccer, and uh, Lee is going to play basketball for Mark Campbell. Three up, Vale shot off. Look at Baines. I mean, uh, yeah, Baines rebound. Man, she became a Windex lady then. And when we say Windex lady, it means they clean the boards. 1-4 high. We picked it up, but we got it into the post, and you can – nice drive. A lot of body contact. Yeah, pushed her away from the basket, but pretty good defense there. And I thought – and see, people don't understand. You can actually, even if the defense is moving back – you can be out and get a charge that way. Yeah, good defense by Elena to hold her ground and also do so without fouling and, and drawing that offensive foul. That's Gehring's second foul, the team's second foul here in the second half. Boykin with it, player-to-player -player defense employed. We'll check the matchups. Boykin driving, they switch off her shot not in the magic square, but she got bumped pretty good then. Yeah, good drive and strong drive by Gibson and, and able to get it up there. 
Thought it was going to rim in. Gibson Bork and a strong young lady, a junior, playing with a tender ankle. That is Maxwell's second foul. Three team fouls. Shot it, got it. Gibson Boykin, the only player we lose and we hate to see her go, we still can see her in softball, is Trinity Brooks. Shot it, got it. String music all over the place. It was smooth, smooth going through there. Here's Vales. And she was using her brain, too, trying to draw a foul out of Brooks. At my count's right, Brooks does not have a foul. Which is rare because yes. she plays so hard. Three up and three down. That looks like Sanders, and it is. And that's her second three tonight. She's got eight. It's a ten-point game again after we had cut in nicely to that lead. They almost triple team. Nice kick out by Yarber. Brooks shot straight enough. Didn't have quite enough oomph to get over the rim. They're running the lanes on the secondary break. Here's Vale. She'll go all the way. Probably get Baines for blocking. A little bit of body contact, contact there by Taylor. That'll be her first foul. One team foul. It'll be a throw in. They run a, something out of the box, but actually it's a screening. Trying to get the shooter, Vales. She was the inbounder. And they do have a free shooter on the baseline. That one rimmed in and out. Tess Little got fouled in. It's a on the floor foul. Sanders with her third. Now that becomes an item because of her three-point value. Yeah, she adds floor spacing definitely on the offensive end. Boykin going to work at point guard. Little has moved to the left wing. Brooks wants to wheel and deal. We need a little more spacing for her to be able to wheel and deal, Brian. Yeah, and uh, look inside. We have a post entry maybe. We, we do. They've got an interesting matchup, Yarborough and Lee. Should have been her fourth, Coach. Yes, I think so too. I would like to see the consistency that all of those of us that have coached are still coaching holler. they got a coming through the back foul. They call it a push, but that nice call by Floyd flipping in there. If that's 20, I've got her with four, and it is. Fifth team foul. Wow. Yeah, that could could help us get in the, get in the bonus early, get some points from the line for sure. And that brings the fr freshman Tor Robinson on. We have a basket cross. Oh, we hit the uh, I, Brooks was lined up and went across and hit the edge of the rim. Robinson's shot a little short, rebound Brooks. Now it's a foot race. Can Lee catch her? Lee caught her, and it goes out of bounds off. Of, would have loved to have seen Trinity jump stop and bank it off the glass. Yeah, jump stop, and, and Lee would have run into her. Or just take it strong. If she blocks her shot, she blocks her shot. You can't, you can't let that deter you from going strong. Brooks is going to get a well-deserved rest, as you see the assistant coaches pat her on the back. She sits down, get a little water. And I've seen that look by Tony before. Uh, we'll get a shot when we come back of him, maybe. Uh, this is Gehring. She's a good driver. The Euro step, and we're going to foul her. It'll be a two-shot foul. Sometimes you're better, Brian, just to leave them alone and just try to slide without reaching any at all. That one is on Elena Yarbrough. That's her first, team second. First one up and off, and you see where it's coming from. And both teams, we got shooters on both teams doing that with their hands. It's got to come out off that index and the bird finger, as some people call it. Second one, she corrected it and looked much better. I'm coaching too much tonight, Brian. And we're going to inbound it, Coach, and pick up a yeah. foul there. Just a, a cheap one. We get it on the freshman, 12, Robinson. That's 16 fouls. We're fixing to go into one and one on the next one. Here comes Tessa. Look at the little lady hustle. Now they're going to try back tipping, and they did get it, but ever alert, Taylor Baines. Brian, I think she's one of the most improved players. She's always had – fundamentals and stuff, but she's really come to the front this year. Well, I think she's healthy, Coach, and that's a big thing. That back is, is not bothering her. That's Ta a big deal. Yeah, Taylor has no fear, does she? Mm -hmm. 
Jarver on the handoff. Here's Boykin wanting to go up, throws the baseline pass. Baines straight enough, but it hits the iron, bounces off. Jarver wisely avoided a foul. And we're trying to make them give it up, and they do. That was Lee to Vales. Vales crossover, kick out. Didn't even look at the back, but back to Lee. She wants to wheel and deal now. She'll pull it out and go to the right wing and cut through. They th get Lee, and how that bounce pass got through there, but it got through to Lee and assist and a basket, and Lee has 12. And they have gone back to their press. They put it on, take it off, and they knock it out of bounds. It's off Vales. Is that Kendrick? Carol Kendrick coming in. She just needs that we need to buy her about a foot of space. I think there's been a timeout called on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the ball game blitz. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Great job, great camera work by our people. Summer gets us back right on time. Saw my good buddy Sid Chapman down at Lonnie Cobb Ford. Love Sid to death, he'll give you a good deal. We've got a lot of great sponsors. Please go by and tell them you heard about them right here. The Tennessee National Guard being one of them. Great people, the Weekend Warrior, as some people like to call them, do more than Weekend Warrior. Baines faking the handoff, wanting to drive. To Tess Little. Tess looks it over. Now Boykin will reset our offense. It's 1 4 high. See if we screen out. Post has to step out and help. There they jump. And that could be a 1 and 1 and could be Alyssa Gehring. And if it is, it's her third foul, Brian. Yeah, we'll shoot the bonus. And I, I saw what she's doing. She knew we were going to the handoff and she tried to jump outside of it. Uh, just too much body contact, the official thought. Adrago coming in and also Camden Maxwell checking back in. Gearing and Robinson going out. Sanders already on the bench. It's a 13 point lead. Boykin is there for her third free throw. She hits it, she'll get another one. Bonus time, shot it, got it. She'll get the next one. Now we've got to strike quickly. Yeah, we're not in a bad place, you just can't. Uh, continue to play from behind at two minutes, 12 seconds to go in this quarter. I'd like to see a little mini run that we can go on. Second one through, and Tony Schutz wants to talk it over for a good defensive strategy. Let's take a time out here on the Worthy Road Ball Game Blitz Studio Network. At Nest Realty Jackson, connections and relationships are at the heart of everything we do. We wake up every day with the goal of helping our agents build trust, relationships, and community. Let's connect. Great shot right there. You see it of the, our huddle. Brian, what do you think they're talking about? Because he called it right after a basket. Yeah, an 11-point game, um, two minutes left in this quarter. This is a very important time um, for our Lady Eagles to to make a little bit of a run. Um, and Coach Schutz wanted, using the full time out there, making sure um, he has his lineup in that he wants and making sure he has a little bit of f uh, fresh legs and give these girls an opportunity to make a run. And... Grant, if I said Gibson was a junior, shoot me. She is a sophomore. Shame on me. And I'm going to send him a text. Shame on me. Thank you. She'll be back for two more years. That's good. I'm trying to rush her off. I, I hate to see her brother go. He was a great quarterback for Jackson Christian. 
We've had some good time with him. He's known as the rifleman because he can shoot the three. 29-18, they throw the long pass into Lee, who returns it to Bales. Back to Lee. We've extended our pressure. We're almost making him make some turnovers, and I miss that. That was Lee getting that pass. I misidentified a young lady. We steal it. It's hard to say we stole it. And that's good. taking it strong. Yeah, that's, that's not worrying about the shot blocker, Coach. Great nope. job by Trinity. Seven points for Brooks right now. Boykin also has seven. Lee has it. We make her give it off. Here is Yarbrough. She got bumped. That looked like Hadrago. And I'm not sure if Elena was kind of playing secondary there, baiting Lee into, into throwing that pass, but it kind of looked like that from here. I, I think I'm going to agree with you on that one. The more I think about it, they're going to bring Gehring back in. She has three. They will hold Sanders a while longer because she has four. Minute 40 left. It's a nine-point lead. Yarber's first shot, man, nothing but string music. 29-21. The Lady Lions lead our Lady Eagles. Yarber's second shot, eyes it, tries it, buys it. We are within seven. So 11 Brian. down to seven. That's what we needed. Here comes the trap. They get it out of it. Yarbrough cuts gearing off. We leave somebody open, but good recovery by Taylor Baines. Brooks making it hard, and they'll probably get Gibson on that one. And that's the experience of uh, Baines for them, or Vales, I'm sorry, Vales. There she was contact, but created like you're about to say, Coach, trying yeah. to cut you off there. No, it's fine. You get it out faster yeah. than I am. She cut her. She made the contact with her body. Here's Lee. She'll get fouled on the floor. Uh, now I have, I'll tell them, folks, I had one of our great nachos in my mouth, and I couldn't get it to where I could talk. Uh, she initiated the contact, but a veteran player will do those things. Quickly into Lee, right wing. Here's Gehring, her cousin. She passed, and they are cousins. Rebound. That is Baines on the rebound. We try to make the, just a little flat, and Nethery made a good play, though. Yeah, man. and that's a tough angle there. I'm not sure what Trinity would have done with that had she have, have caught it. So I think fortunate break that she knocked it out of bounds for us. And at home, evidently, my doorbell system has gone nuts and put about 15 texts on my phone. Here we go with action here, though. 107 to go. Brooks, will they get her for the travel? That looked more like Jackie Gleason's uh, uh, traveling music there. Now, Gehring will come back into the game. She had gotten out. Robinson comes out. 18 fouls on TCA, four on the Lady Eagles. We're trapping in the corner over there. They had a reversal, man. Well, they got it all across at either eight and a half or nine. Cross-court pass, Vales wants to load it, wants to go to the hole. Goes underneath, kick out, and here comes a three from Maxwell. And she got it. And that was a big shot for yep, them. That was a big shot, getting it back to a 10-point game. Unofficially her first basket of the game. Boykin, a little bit of zone, it looks like. Coach. Yeah, I think they, they go 2-3 zone when they're not in their player-to-player -player defense. And it takes you a second, but we've got 26 seconds. We can wait and hold it and take the last shot. And we still got plenty of time to get a good shot. Don't have to rush it. Now, once you get to 12, you better be running your offense to get a good shot. And that should be a foul, the ninth team foul. I, I agree, they agree. I agree. Scoreboard, it's one and one. Sig official, if you go back and watch this take, made a little mistake. He had signaled two shots, and it was not. Boykin's first shot up and good. Boy, that one didn't touch anything. Foul is on Vales. That's her third. So a little bit of foul trouble for TCA. Boykin shot it, got it. And we'll have a substitution test. Little comes in, gives Boykin a well-deserved rest. Yeah, great minutes there by Gibson. 
knocking down free throws. Let's get a stop right here. And we've got to remember there's one girl behind us. Boy, there's the one man pressed in at half court. A little more pressure. An overthrow, two seconds, one. Gehring driving. Her shot got blocked, and I, I thought it was clean. Yeah, maybe from the body, but a good, good play there by Yarbrough. At the end of three quarters of play, it's TCA 32, the Lady Eagles of Jackson Christian 24. Let's take a timeout. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. We are back. We are back right here. I was just slow with the controls. The uh, nachos are too good. Go by, and I know there are people in the stands uh, watching this on their their phones, iPhones. Uh, doesn't matter whether you got AT and T, Verizon, T Mobile, whatever. Ryan, some quick thoughts for the fourth quarter. Yeah, you know we talked about that two minute stretch being important and. Coach, we had to seven, and, and the young girl from TCA made the three to extend it back to ten. But um, our girls are fighting, and we're speeding them up a little bit. They're in foul trouble. Uh, we still have a couple fouls to give, uh, so we need to continue to be aggressive and, and try to turn them over. But we got to convert when we get opportunities. Really need a defensive stop here to keep it under ten. TCA will get the basketball first, as you see on those great shots by Eric and Chris. Some are uh, running the board here along with uh, director and producer and Gary here in charge tonight. Good defense, though. Thought she moved both feet. I did, too. Uh, I thought maybe it was an optical illusion. Here is Lee, and she, yeah, that is nothing but string music. And that is her 14th point. Yeah, we, we're a little stagnant against, let's see, they're still in their zone. Yeah, they're packing it in and going to try to force us to um, shoot outside. Also, I think Coach Coble going to this because of the foul trouble. And it's a good move by him. We just need to take advantage of it because we've got some capable shooters. We just got to get feet set and get a good look. Here's Yarbrough. Wants to go. The kick out. They tried to draw the foul. Brooks is on target. It's just a little short. And she's logged a lot of minutes, people. Baines will try three. Her three off the back of the iron rebound. Lily had it, got it back after they knocked it out of her hand. Tess and Brooks is down. I never like to see anybody down. Yeah, might have got her bell rung there by Lily. A lot of tough action, 34-24, the contest here. We got to cut into the lead. Here's the split. We didn't get it, but... Yarber did a great job pushing it out there. And again, just short. Brooks with a great effort. Now they're going to have a two-on-one, our transition people. Barnes hustling. Barnes knocks it away and gets it. Good hustle, not giving up on the action. We don't need to fall in love with the three on this end. No. We, we can get still the ball. There we go. Should fall. It does. Nine points. And we're down eight. Cheering section's going. Lee wanted to crank it, starts the drive, and we've got a push. That's okay. That was about to be a layup potentially there by Lee. Um, Barnes just riding her hip. Not a bad foul. Oh, she'd already turned it. You're right, yeah. Ryan. She turned that shoulder in, and it was fixing to go through. See, Robinson coming out. Let's see. Sanders probably is coming back in to us for the stretch. They, they won't take her out again. They run her off two screens. They've got Gehring open deep on the left side. She can stop and pop from about 15 and does. It's her seventh point of the night. Stats are unofficial. Back that we can't get away from this 10-point lead. Shot up Tess. Kind of blocked out there a little bit. Short shot was off. Back Tess going to try another one. Cross her body, and it's short. 
And if you notice, go back and watch the replay, the right hand goes across her body towards the left side because she is a great shooter when she lets loose of it straight. Got to have some defense now. Ten-point lead with 523 and counting. Yarber tries it. We need help. We get it. We're going to foul Lee, but we stop the basket. Yeah, good foul. Um, and made sure she didn't get the three-point chance at the three-point play there. Absolutely correct. Like I've told you all before, if Brian Bullard tells you the sun is purple polka dot bank on it, go down and invest some money in purple polka dot suns. First shot up and good. I know Olivia, I don't think she's shot except for maybe her freshman year less than 80% from the line. We've got some good free throw shooters. Boykin has shown you that tonight with I think she's six for six. Second one is good. Lee missed her first one. She's two for three. And now they employ a little, well, they got to get their people right on the press. That's what went wrong with a trap us. We get it to Baines. Or Bo actually, that's Barnes. And uh, they helped the turnover. It was, probably wasn't the right pass, and they had a hand on it. Nice two on one. And we couldn't stop that one. Maxwell with the basket, but the assist made the play. Five for Maxfield. Okay, that one a little unusual. No call. Tony wants a timeout, and I'm like you, Brian. Um, she didn't end up on the floor by herself. Yeah, give us a break. Let's call that timeout on the ball game blitz. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports, including Union University, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. Brian, what do you think was on the floor? And then I'll let you talk about the turning point here. I don't know, some beads maybe, um, some bracelets, somebody. A lot of contact on the play there with Trinity and, and some more. This turned into a rugby scrum there. Yeah, this game getting a little physical. TCA, you have to give them credit. They're in foul trouble, and they've gone back to the press. Yeah, I think Coach Coble was, was trying to turn us over, speed us up a little bit. Now they're going to fall back into the – they're looking to him to see what they're going to run, falling back in that 2-3 zone. And Gibson Boykin, who is a sophomore, I called her a junior a while ago, and Grant probably ought to tan my hide or something. We missed that one, and Gary, Alyssa Gary is going to get the rebound, and uh, we knock it out of bounds. You know, uh, Lily Barnes has no fear either. That's right. Oh, Brooks may have one. They just barely got it back. Kicked out, Lee up, and it's down, and you cannot give her an opening like that. She has seven in the quarter, 19 in the contest, and we've got another timeout. We'll come back on the ball game blitz. Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. And we are back here. Great shot by Eric and Chris of the bench. You can see Tony. I can read his thoughts, and he is really thinking hard. Matt Coble using every second. Plus, you're supposed to break your huddle, and it's not that Matt's doing anything wrong. There's nobody over there. Yeah, he's milking it. The officials were supposed to come over here when the horn blow. Floyd coming now, but supposed to have been there sooner. Yes, the nachos are good, everybody. Somebody said 
We saw you eat nachos. It has to be somebody here because Brian and I are not on camera right now. Some nice texts coming in to Gibson Boykin, the sophomore. Cross-courted. Tinsley's in there for some three-point. If they stay in their zone, well, Tinsley can break it up too. Kick out. Boykin wants to drive. Goes up. Shot. Rolls around and comes off. Somebody put some glue on that rim. I'm not sure anybody has more shots rim out than Gibson. That's a good look. Good drive. Look at little Tinsley. Knocks it away, and Brooks is going to pick it up. Tries to get it ahead, but good hands there by Sanders for TCA. If she throws that pass straight to the shooting pocket of Lee, it would have been a basket. Here's Vales, and she was open, and she drops it. Just Cardin's fifth point. She usually has more than that, and now they're hotter than a $2 pistol shooting. Taylor Baines going to take it all the way to the hole, the left-handed layup, up and in. Good use of the left there by Taylor. Absolutely. Four points for Taylor. You know, we've hustled, Brian. Yeah, they, these girls are leaving it all out there, playing mm -hmm. hard. That was a walk. Their girls have hustled and to uh, now Bales will fake drive the baseline and quick handed Trinity Brooks knock that one away. <laughs> now a lot of it's a fervorless conversation down there. Here's Lee and we left her wide open. She will drain it. Olivia Lee, the union signee. Like I said, she's got nine in the quarter, 21 in the game. That's going to be Sanders' fifth foul. Coach. Yeah, that should get her. I was holding and seeing if I was right. Looks like Robinson will come back in for her, Tori Robin, Robinson. Sanders has fouled out, but she has eight big points for them. Hit two big threes. Boykin at the line for two, the 10th. We've got 10 team fouls, so the rest of the way we'll shoot two fouls. The sophomore at the line. Shot it, got it. Boy, she's making a living at the free throw line. Good shooter, good ball handler. Strong young lady. Second one, good. Now we got to have the basketball. 20-point lead. Is it impossible? No. Is it hard? Yes. They would try to trap Lee. She steps through it, and they're going to call a foul on us. Now, that should be our 17th foul. Now, I could have made an extra mark. It is. So, Lee will be there, and like I said, normally a very good free throw shooter. Missed her first, but hit her next two. She'll get one, and if she hits it, the bonus. First one up, and good. Got 22 now. Test little back in. Boykin will take a rest. Now next week on Tuesday, no girls game, but there'll be a boys game at Sacred Heart, and that ought to be a barn burner. Second one, shot it, got it. So it's 23 points here. Gosley coming in. Looks like Carol Kendrick's going to come back in. And Hadrago coming back in for TCA. Maxfield, I believe, was the one that came out. Let's see if they go player to player. Yes, they do. They're going to match back up and go, with, especially with Brooks out of there. A little yo-yo or hesitation dribble by Tess Little. Looked like a relative back in the old days at White County, Kelly Harper. Five-second violation, yeah, if she didn't break the count. Did you ever see Kelly Harper play when she was at Sparta or some? It's known as White County High School now. Uh, maybe in some AAU stuff, but she's a little bit older. Yep, you're right about the age difference. In, uh, Definitely the, at Tennessee for sure. Oh, yeah. Now, and I like what I like what Coach – Shoots is doing um, with a bigger lead and, and the small depth that we have, making sure that uh, we get some young girls in, but also we don't have any more injuries there from some of those ro heavy rotation girls. And there's the travel. Bailey Robinson in the ball game for us. BK Loveless 
in the ball game and just committed the turnover for TCA. Would love to know what BK stands for. I, I like to try to figure out names like it. Let's let the younger ones get a little action here. Over to Kendrick. She wants to throw. We had a cutter going in it, but their help side girl was there. That was Nethery. Madrago with it, dribbled left-handed, gets it off to the left wing. And we got a steal. Here goes Tinsley. Love to watch her go to the goal, up and in. Got to love it. Two for Tinsley. Jenna, a fun player. Jenna, play any other sports besides basketball? Softball. Softball, okay. We got that coming up. They work the high-low quite well. Then we foul Nethery. Nethery will go to the line for two. She has not scored tonight. If we can have our senior parents move their way down by the... And we have senior night coming up. We'll try to get some of our commercials in, and our floor camera will give you a shot at it. Nethery hits her first one, gets in the scorebook. We have 18 fouls. Second one, the left-hander shot off the iron. Rebound board. Bailey Robinson got up well then. Good rebound by Bailey. Strong rebound. Here's the drive. Kendrick driving her shot just a little hard off the glass. TCA's got it. We may steal it back. See who touched it last. They say TCA did. I like Jenna on that hustle. Now, Bailey's just a sophomore, so we've got her for a long time, yep. too. Young group out there, mm -hmm. two freshmen and three sophomores. We had a great idea. We just missed the pass, but they may have touched it. Let's see. And they did, they being TCA. We'll go 1-4 across the baseline. Sliding Robinson up. She gets it. We're in position. Tony likes to run the flex. We didn't run it then, but we were in position. I think Gosley got fouled. Yeah, good position there. Good fight by Addison Gosley and drawing a foul. Chance to get on the board here. Now that is on Tori Robinson for them. It'll be two shots for Gosley. It'll be her first trip to the line. Shot it and got it. Addison always gives you all she's got when she's in there. We're measuring out her second shot. Second one, man, nothing but good shooting string music. 55 seconds left in counting, 53-34. Nethery had it, crossed the court it. You see it go down to the baseline to Hydrago. They wanted Nethery there in the short corner. They do a good job no matter who in posting that up. A great steal by Tess coming down there and getting it. 35 seconds, Tess kicks it off. Kendrick's three up off the back of the iron. Robinson rebound, she wants to go up, she's fouled. Good job by Bailey. Offensive rebound, took the dribble to gather herself and drew the contact. Chance to get in the scorebook. Also showed her coach that she has some moxie under the goal there. First one off the back of the iron. Second one rolls around, hard rim, diving for it on the floor was Tess Little, and Bailey was Bailey about to get after it. That's right. She's not going back down. And the tie belongs to. In possession arrow, TCA with 22 seconds. Looks like Hydrago with it. Giving it off to Robinson for them. This is Tory Robinson to Nethery. Back to Hydrago on the far wing over there to Loveless. Back to Hydrago. I'm not sure with three say there won't be another shot. One, this contest is over. TCA has taken this important district contest, 53 34, and we will come back after this timeout. Do you want your smile to say it all? 
At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choice that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. Great American Sports makes sports an addiction. Located at 125B Old Hickory Boulevard, East in Jackson, we specialize in teen sports for youth leagues, schools, and churches. We can embroider and screen print team uniforms. We also have sports equipment, Under Armour, and Adidas clothing, and anything else you need for your teen sports. You can email or call us for all your teen sports needs. Great American Sports, make sports an addiction.
This time we ask that you turn your attention to the video board as our seniors have put together a video that they would like to share. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. At McCoy's Heating and Air, our number one priority is keeping you and your loved ones cozy this holiday season. If your HVAC system needs an upgrade, call McCoy's for quick quality installation. Don't wait. With the purchase of your new unit, you will receive our Keep Cozy gift bag filled with cozy essentials for the cold weather ahead. To schedule your system upgrade, call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State of the art service work and pre approved auto loans online at Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town, with another funeral home, or even in another state. But we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. are back here at Jackson Christian Jerry Eskew Gymnasium. You see the pictures made. Brian, uh, these are some fine seniors. I, I know most of these kids. Cheerleaders, I don't get to see very I get to see them cheer, but they do a great job. Tell everybody who they are, and if, you know, you work with the kids closer than I do. These are great kids. Yeah, two cheerleaders, Katie Alexander and Lauren Day. Um, and <clears throat> these are two girls that you're going you're gonna to find at the head of our school. Um, they're out in the, the student council doing all that and organizing all the events and the homecoming and all the things that um, go along with having a good senior year. Um, and, and those girls have done a tremendous job. They, we will miss them uh, at Jackson Christian next year. Uh, basketball players, Trinity Brooks, and you can't say enough about uh, Trinity and what she brings to this team, and I would love to have – Trinity another year or even two years with this young group. 
Gage Boykin, um, you know, football, basketball. Lance Franks came back to us, basketball. Jaden Irvin, DJ Trailer, Zane White, you know, all three contributors on our basketball team play really hard. Um, Coach, been through some lows, um, and I'm proud of these guys getting to experience some highs this year. 16 wins, I think, is what they're at right now. Um, a chance to get close to 20 if, if we can, you know, pull out a couple wins here down the stretch. And so you you always talk about perseverance and, and keep fighting no matter what happens. And sometimes, Coach, you don't see positive results out of that right away. And then you have a year like this where you can be a part of a really good team, and we hope they finish strong. So those are our seniors. Um, and, and one thing that I don't want to fail to mention is the parent sacrifice that it takes to – um, you know, travel to all the games and the events and the practices and the training and all the different stuff um, as I'm learning now with two young kids and I'm busy already. <laughs> um, and so it's, it takes a lot. It takes parents. It takes a village to coaches, teachers, and, and we are going to miss these student athletes next year. Absolutely. And Brian is right. And he is a good father. I can vouch for that. But he's busier than a cat covering up on a hot tin roof working with uh, the students here and doing these are great students it's a great place to be we've got academics with advanced placement classes college credit classes all kinds of great things like that to have here we have one of the best speech and drama departments and our plays are second to none but uh, we had a great play down at Freed Hardman using their lighting and all that but in the cafetorium the little people, and your son was one of those, and I saw, I thought I saw you there in the film that I saw of it. Yeah, they, they did a good job. Miss Tracy Smith, um, she's back with us, and, of course, her son Ty uh, started on the football team and was in the play, and her, her daughter uh, Morgan's a cheerleader, and I think there's a younger Smith uh, child there in the elementary school, but she does a great job, and I want to say that she's going to do some type of musical with each elementary grade um, this year, um, so they, you know, they do a good job down there. Um, a lot of, a lot of really good things happening here at Jackson Christian. And if you like band, I'm going to go ahead and say it: we got the best little band in America right here. Uh, a lot of good kids in the uh, pep band and the regular band, and they do a good job. You see our teams warming up. Let's talk about the girls for a second longer, and let me get my scorebook. We started out great. We were we were down 21-12 at halftime, but it was 8-6 in the first quarter. And the wheels kind of came off the bus in the second half a little bit, but we hustled, never gave up. For them, Alyssa Gehring was 7, Maxville, came to Maxville 5, Carden Vales 7. Big gun tonight was Olivia Lee with 23, and she is the reigning Miss Basketball and has been nominated again for Miss Basketball. That voting is out, and only media can vote. Uh, another local station here that I have no part of put the link up on their website, and the TWSWA got flooded with ineligible voters. But they've got that corrected. Um, like I said, Vales with seven, Lee 23. Sanders had a good night with eight, two big threes, but she fouled out. Nethery had one, and Robinson, Tori Robinson had two for their total of 53 points. For the Lady Eagles who hustled, you got to admire their play. And hey, don't forget about this. We got a better record than we had last year. And we're a threat. We just got to get some people healthy. Yeah, well, and, and you know, the couple that are out injured, I'm, Coach, I don't think we will um, get them back this year. But if we continue to um, to fight and to, and to play, we'll be a tough out in the tournament. Uh, especially if you haven't seen that zone um, it, it can be even tougher to go against. You know, you catch some teams that haven't seen us yet, um, and that'll take some adjusting. So maybe, you know, that, that makes us a, touch, a tough matchup, in Absol my opinion. Absolutely. We did get one back, but that was – we knew she was coming back. Yeah. Uh, one, she's a tough kid. Two, the injury, thank goodness, wasn't as bad as it first thought, and that was uh, Gibson Boykin. And she had a good night tonight. She led us with 11 points. Trinity Brooks had nine Lily Barnes had two, Taylor Baines four, but what effort Taylor gave tonight. And and so did Barnes. I don't need to leave any of these young ladies out. Brooks and Yarber always has. Yarber had four. Boykin again, I'm going back down my book. I'm doing this for memory. Uh, Tinsley had her big two, Jenna Tinsley. 
Uh, Tess did not score but played hard and logged a lot of minutes tonight. Addison Gosley had two big free throws in the bucket for our total. And, um, hey, we're going to be all right. Remember, we only lose one. We'd love to keep her, but the rules don't allow us. That's right. Tell you what we need to do before we come back and get ready for this boys game. We got to talk about it. We're going to take a timeout on Worthy Road Studios, but before we do, let me remind you, Worthy Road Studios and the Ball Game Blitz Network has a new show coming the 11th, and there's going to be some specialty shows. You can hear people like Dr. Robert Rooks, but Billy Radliff, number 40 on the defensive team the year that UT won the national championship without his hit and fumble recovery. There is no national championship. One of Phil Fulmer's favorite people, guarantee is, will be the first guest on February 11th, the Lightning Sports Show, and you're going to love it. You see the teasers for it. We'll tell you more about it. There'll be guests like Albert Hainsworth. You say, Albert? Albert has become a Christian, Brian. And he is friends with a guy that he stomped. And Albert loves the Lord, knows the Lord, and prays the Lord for that happening to him. We're going to take a time out, and when we come back, we'll set this game up. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And as we come back, I got a neat text of someone watching from the stands that said, Coach, Help us out and remind everybody beef. And if you don't know what beef means, it's the acronym for balance, eye, elbow, follow through. And that's not my job. We've got two very fine coaches, two young men that I think the world of, and Tony's an old pro at it, and Kyle Teichman gets better and better. And I don't know if anybody teaches man-to-man -man defense any better than Kyle Teichman. Both teams are seven two. This is important. This is for second place. Sacred Heart has a half game lead because they only have one loss. Brian, your thoughts on tonight? Yeah, it's it's going to be a, a battle. It's going to be a grinded out type game. Um, you know, they're going to come out with a little extra motivation. They felt like that they should have got us at their place, and you know, we made a play there at the end, a couple plays there at the end. But we have to come out and from the start. Uh, jump on them, but not like we did against USJ where we started off strong and then kind of let down and let them hang around and they stole that one from us there. So I, I look for us to come out um, on fire, playing our defense and, and doing a good job, um, trying to limit Williams and trying to limit Waller's touches. You know, they, they've got some good players um, and they, they had, I think it was Trace Robinson stepped up uh, the last time we played yeah. him and had 13. I think 13. he had tw 12 yeah. or 13, and he should hit some key shots was the worst so, thing. So, you know, you don't know. They have a different guy that could get 15, 20 points, something like that, but you just have to uh, do a good job limiting the guys that we know they're trying to go to and um, see what happens. You're absolutely correct about that. Remind you, uh, if you may not have time tonight, but tomorrow they've got entertainment. Go down and get one of the best steaks in town, and that is – at our great sponsor that you see on our board, the Blacksmith. I've got company that's come into town. I've been notified while we're here. And guess what? We're taking them to the Blacksmith tomorrow. Brian, you and I need to take our families down there. And, and they have great food for the youngsters, too, down there. One of our great sponsors, CNN Sulaco, Jackson State Community College, where even an old geezer like me can go back and get some great education for the young people coming out. If you don't want to go to a four-year school, they have programs that can get you a good paying job after two years of hard study. Jones Chevrolet, that beautiful showroom of theirs, 
Dynamics, love those people. They helped to get Gibson Boykin back on the floor quick. And of course, Thompson and Smith, we have a couple of other people. We'll tell you about those as the night goes on. This is a copyright broadcast. Any reproduction or use of this contest without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is prohibited. Here is Brian Bullard with the starting lineups. Zero for Trinity, Braden Waller. <clears throat> Number one, sophomore, Caleb Williams. Number five, Will Weiser. Number five, I believe Will is a senior. Yes. Uh, Will Weiser. I know most of these guys. Another senior, number 12, Trace Robinson. Had a good game against us last time. And the final starter is number 23, senior Will Keltner. I believe he made some All-State teams, too, just like Jalen and Zach did. Yeah. Lions coached by Dexter Williams, assisted by Antoine Long. Your starters for the Eagles, number one, Aiden Shaw. And at guard, number two, he is a senior, DJ Trailer. Number five, forward, sophomore, Jay Mosley. Number 23, he's a forward, junior, Ridgely Reagan. And the final starter tonight is a senior, number 33, Jay Nervin. Eagles coached by Coach Kyle Teichman. Drew Pirtle and assistant coach Ryan Yates. Coach Joe Holloway along with Coach Brian Bullard here. Summer is producing, directing Gary Lockhart, our executive over this, Paul Schultz, the executive himself. Seven and two for both of us. The winner takes hold of second place with a chance to be in a first place tie. We've got to go to Sacred Heart, so we get a chance to return the favor and beat them. We had them beat and just a couple of little slip-ups in a tight ball game. Yeah, big, big time game here, Coach. Mosley goes up. They get the second tip off. That's Wiser. And I'll be glad to see him graduate. But, you know, uh, Waller, I'm talking about for football. Yeah. He and Waller caught a ton of passes. Now, there's a loose ball. It's a foot race. Jalen tries to get it, and he gets it knocked out of bounds. He and Waller had a good foot race. They're both sophomores. They'll be... Well, let's just say this. We know sooner or later Jaden and him will match up on the football field, too. We play man-to-man -man defense, and it's pretty good man-to-man -man defense, too. They try to go inside to Keltner. He'll kick back out. We didn't recover quickly, and they will drop one through, and that looked like Wiser. They go straight in. They make it a three-quarter one-two-one-one press. They do match up off, and Ridgely got tripped. Then they'll call it a block, but and it wasn't an intentional one. But you can't put your feet there like that. That one is on Wiser. First team foul. His first. Two to nothing. TCA leading. Looks like they're going to run the two-three only. They bring their wings up or corners up a little higher on theirs. They will flex them off. They want to dare you to shoot, though, from the wing positions. You can see when they point and talk, that's good on their defense. Coached by Dexter Williams, who has won two state championships at Liberty. Threatened another year to make it to the state. DJ, nice drive, but a little hard. Weiser's got the rebound. DJ comes back and takes it. You know, how many steals has DJ had this year? Great job. He's going to shoot a three, Coach. Yep. Just off the back of the iron, rebound comes down to Waller. Braden Waller, the sophomore. Ridgely's got him, and there will be a foul on somebody in there. Block probably will go to DJ. We don't need him getting in foul trouble early, though. His first team first. They run a 1-4 out-of-bounds play with some screens. They go to Caleb Williams, the coach's son, who's a great shooter. Wiser, and he is busy tonight. Missed that one. And Mosley, man, I saw hands all over him. Yeah. 
Two to nothing, our score, low scoring starting like the girls. Three up, bottoms for Irvin wearing number 33. Big time shot by Jaden, shot it with a lot of confidence. He did, he just took it and ripped, no hesitation. Here's one, that's Keltner way outside, and boy, Keltner answers himself. We got to talk to Switch. Yep. So it's 5-3. We got caught, and there's, got to watch that foot action. Thought there was a little slide. Windsor's got it. Coach Williams wants his team to run a little more. Keltner wants one top of the circle. And it got the net, but only the front of the net. Yeah, and, and I thought we got hit with an old knee there, but yeah. uh, fortunate to get a miss from Keltner and get the possession back. Ridgely Reagan to inbound. He goes to Irvin. They'll try to cut the passing lane, and they don't get him stopped. He decides he's going to dribble through it. I can tell you their coach is not happy about it because he doesn't teach letting them dribble through. And we've not got good spacing right now, Brian. Yeah, if we have space there, that, that might be a catch picked off. Shoot. Caleb Williams got good body control. Jalen – Though out Fox team on that one, but the trouble is, is Waller followed and they have a 7 3 lead, they being TCA. Here's the, we're getting our passes, and, and I hate to call them nonchalant, but they are a little bit. And that time, Ridgely will get the foul, and it looked like Waller used his hips well. Yeah, Ridgely did a good job just jumping straight up, but. Uh, Waller creates the contact. We can't throw through hands. We got to throw around. Uh, we got to fake passes here. You're absolutely correct. Waller would be at the line for two shots. He wears number zero. I can remember the day when zero wasn't a legal number. It is now. Tony Delt wore double zero. And here comes the junior rifleman, Mason Vaughn, who can shoot threes just like Gage Boykin. Uh, and we've got other people that can shoot them. DJ can shoot them. Irvin hits them. Aiden, but. Uh, Vaughn's got a patent on the little man three-pointer. Second one is shot it, got it. It's 8-3. They're in their press. They'll try to cut our passing lanes first, get you to dribble into a trap where they can use the half line as an extra defender. That's a kick, and that should be our ball, even though it went off their guy. Yep. And they're, they're taking that return pass away, so we're going to have to try to flash the middle and, and pitch ahead. Let's see, they got Trace Robinson out here. It's still a 2-3 zone. Caleb Williams comes out on Vaughn, and the, both of them are familiar with each other from middle school basketball. Giving back to DJ, I, I see a foul. The referee sees a foul. They don't necessarily agree. It'll be on the floor. It's a great and touch pass from Ridgely to... Uh, DJ there. Both teams with two team fouls. That one is on Keltner, his first. Shot it, got it. It's DJ Trailer. It's 8 6. Aiden Shaw, I like that focus he's got on Trace Robinson. We got a back door, we let it get away. I'll tell you what, he rushed the shot. Keltner rushed it. Mosley got it. Wisely gives it to a ball handler. Yep. Vaughn looking, he would love to bust this zone up. They'll change it, put him on the right wing. It's going to be our post entry right here. We're going to try to get a touch inside. There it is. But I still think, and I talked to a referee. Oh. I say an Academy Award, but there wasn't enough contact there. for. And I hate to respond like that, but that, that's, that's not much contact there. Three fouls. Really, there was just barely. It was a good play by TCA to draw the charge, but uh, that's Aiden Shaw's first, and he's got to stay out of foul trouble early. Zane White in there guarding Waller now. We forced Keltner out beyond the spiking line, if you prefer to call it that, and uh, we knock it away. Mosley's loose. Will he lay it up? Yes, and actually... Hitting the backboard like that, you could call a technical on that. You don't have to, but you could. And if it had missed, it, the basket would have been good anyway. Mosley with his first points. It's eight all, first tie in the game. Up, oh, I thought there were body contact. They try to lob it. Zane White closes out and did a good job on Trace Robinson. Caleb Williams drives, lost one over in the corner to Waller. 
Back to Waller after Keltner had it for a second. We reach and foul. We don't need those fouls. We don't, but it's kind of similar to the first game. Brayton had the corner on Jalen, and, and that was a tired foul by Jay. Yep. But, you know, that's going to happen. Mosley is first, team fourth. They've put a sub in for TCA. Nice shot. It's soft, but it doesn't go in. Nobody blocked Keltner out, and he's got his fifth point. Luke Malden in for them. Where's 13? Now Zane had position high post, but he would have had somebody would have reached through on him. Vaughn's got it, and they're matching out of their 2 3 quite well. I want to see Mason catch it ready to shoot. Here's the loop. See, Windsor, even though uh, Wiser is kind of matched up to him, even though he's taking the middle away. DJ Trailer. Shoots it. It was a pretty good shot. Trace Robinson still playing valuable basketball for TCA. There's a foul, and Zane stopped the layup. Matter of fact, the call was a little late. The first foul should have been and had one on the floor. Zane, a senior, his first. Team fifth. TCA only has two team fouls. Waller at the line. He was one out of two the last time he was there. Shot it. Got it. Ridgely Reagan checks in and Mosley gets a well-deserved rest. Yeah, he'd run that whole quarter. Uh, finally got a little break there. Important block out. Second shot, up and in. Nothing but string music. He's three out of four. They have a four-point lead. Aiden Shaw, they'll trap him. He'll reverse it. Mason comes up the right sideline, gets it. We break the press easy that time. Shaw wanted to load. Now he's going to drive, kick. Now I'm like you. I want Mason to load it, have his shooting pocket formed, load and shoot. Shaw shot. Wow. That's NBA shot right there. A lot of confidence. You could see him measuring it up. He was going to let it fly, coach, and he, he buried it. 12-11 the score. Shaw pulls us to within one. If you get a chance, we got a great concession stand. Go by and visit them. Shot up by Trace Robinson. Rebound, Ridgely Reagan. Ridgely handles it, gets it to Shaw. Shaw's going to streak down there. Wow. Interesting. No call. Interesting. We're late recovering. Zane got there and actually got a block out of it. Good hustle, Zane White. Yeah. And, and Coach Teichman is working on the officials there on the contact, and I thought we knocked it out of bounds. No, that's what Coach was talking to him about. It hit TCA, or at least I thought it did. And again, you know, I wear my bifocal glasses. I'm an old man, but it looked that way to me. Doesn't mean I'm right either. Officials trying hard. Here's Shaw. Oh, he wanted to. They probably saved the basket right there. Yeah, he was going to convert that. 21, Vales with the foul. Just the third team foul for TCA. 42 seconds left, a one-point game. We kind of spread it out a little bit. Looks like we may be tempted to hold it for the last shot. Yeah, Coach Tice been instructing to go last shot. We'll see if, if, if Trinity comes out. Yeah, they're going to guard the goal with two, and I see they have the young f freshman Tompkins in there. And he is a big young man. Remember, we got to we got to tackle him in football next right. year. Okay, the count's on with 14 now. We got to start our offense because it's 12. The kick out to Vaughn. Vaughn goes up. He got fouled, and I love Mason. And that's the right. He made a good play. I still want to shoot. I love seeing him shoot that three. Mason Vaughn at the line for his first two. Vaughn was one of the interception leaders for our football team. Great basketball player, shot it, got it. That should have tied this game up at 12. It's been tied at eight. He can break it or he can keep it tied. Somebody's gonna get the basketball. Caleb Williams back in for them, who's a long distance gun. 
Just a sophomore. That one off the back of the iron, so it's tied at 12. Zane down on the floor fighting for it. Who will get it? DJ had it. He goes up in time. It rolls off. Will he get Shoot the it. shot off? It's thrown up. Let's see what they rule. It doesn't go in, so it doesn't matter. At the end of one quarter of play, the Eagles 12, the Lions 12. Let's take a timeout on the ball game blitz. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios. With over 750,000 views in 2022, we are where you need to advertise. Please subscribe to our Worthy Road Studios YouTube channel and join the other 4,000 subscribers watching local sports, including Union University, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, and Peabody. Our multi-camera broadcasts include slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. Ball Game Blitz Sports Network by Worthy Road Studios, the premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. We are back, and the cheering group for TCA coming off. We got a big old cheering section. Our girls working hard over on the far side. We got a nice crowd over there, all in blue. I like that. Yeah, those uh, T-shirts that you see uh, donated by Reagan Realty, so they made sure everybody was wearing some blue tonight. That is great. Now, we got an open house coming up here at the school pretty soon, soon don't we, Brian? So we are not doing a traditional open oh, house. Oh, okay. We're going to do a, a preview day um, and try to, to market to specific grades and things like that. So uh, we good. invite everybody just to come by and, and set up a visit. Sounds like a winner. Mosley back in. Here's Zach Creasy. They run Aiden Shaw on the baseline. The only thing, whoops, a little high on the skip pass gets over Zach's head. Want Aiden to learn to come off of that and pivot, and sometimes you have to do that off your right foot coming this way. Shoot the three anyway. Yeah, shoot that. That Creasy is in. Otherwise, we've got most of the starting lineup in there. DJ getting a rest. You see yeah. Aiden on, on Williams. It's a matchup to watch. Just stay between him and the goal. Stay back. Keep the hand digging at the ball every once in a while. They got, we had a switch. It's important to know who, where Caleb is. Originally, we'll get after him. He's just not as quick as Caleb. All right. See if we can get it switched back. But we've got to be careful on switch. You know, I've seen Mosley tackle Tompkins, but, boy, he's big. He's under the goal. He'll have to kick it out. Well, he gets it up off the rim. We'll get the rebound because Ridgely was hustling. Yeah, fortunate there. Jay was the only guy, and Ridge was hanging around. Yep. we got to go to the boards. Skip pass almost too high, but originally Reagan can get up. Yeah, he's got a good wingspan. Yes, he does. Has he ever played football? I think back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. He's a basketball man now. I think they're going to call it body. Yes, Caleb had the basketball clean. I know we've got some TCA fans watching, and uh, I'm sure Ray Gehring and Miss Carey is watching. She's got COVID. I test little. I haven't seen her grandmother. She may be here, but she always watches us. And that's the first foul on Caleb Williams. Team fifth for them. Here's the shot by Jaden. Ooh, rolls off the rim. These shots are important. Jaden has a big three in the contest. Keltner's back in. Trace Robinson back in. Malden is out. Second shot by Jaden Irvin, and it's off the back of the iron. Mosley got the rebound, won the muscle battle there. Yeah, we had two there that time. Yeah. Irvin, nice ball fake. Fake a pass to make a pass. He drives, gives to Shaw. Shaw, 15-footer up, just rolls off the rim, but Zach Creasy over there hustling for the rebound. They're trying to cut his passing lane, but Jaden went deep, and that's a smart thing to do. Caleb Williams has pretty good arm span, too. They do. Some and long he, players out there. Yeah. Now we've got the floor spaced. The battle going on between Trace Robinson and Jalen, and Jalen wins this one. Just throw it to him every time. Yeah. I would throw it up until they, they show they can stop it. Yeah, I want them to throw it a little deeper to him. Yeah. That's four for Jalen Mosley, the jumping jack all-state football player. That's a good battle, and Zach got, finally got beat, but let me tell you what, he went footwork for footwork a minute ago. 
Tompkins going to come back in, and they're probably going to have him match up on Mosley because Jalen may be thin, but he can jump like crazy. And if you ever saw the movie The Replacements, the kicker said he was wiry, and I can't do it like he did it. And Jalen is wiry. He's a tough kid, though, too. Nice young man. Had fun interviewing this year on Hub City Deli. We had the right idea. We threw it deep, but too deep. Here it is to Reagan. Originally, he didn't have his shooting pocket, but it wasn't his fault because the pass wouldn't have got to the shooting pocket. Zach's capable, but that back still gives him some trouble. We've seen Zach Creasy hit some threes in the past. Zach's going to drive. He goes up. Lays. Oh, that was perfect. Good Soft. drive by Zach and a good screen off without getting a foul by Jalen. Absolutely. His first two of the night. TCA on the right wing with it. Looked like Robinson over there. Waller's got it. He's a good player. Ridgely probably fouled him across his arms. Yeah, I got him with the body, but I wish he would have just held off and let Jalen take care of that from the offside spot. Yes, I do too, but and that's his second foul because I guarantee you Jalen would have erased that yeah. shot. That was one of those Wilson sandwiches coming up to be erased, and he gets two free throws out of this. And it goes to 16-13. Waller will get his second hit that first one. He's got six points in the contest. You see some tough play in there. Pivot, Zane White in there, got the rebound, gives it to Zach Creasy. Jackson Christian, 16, TCA, 13. Here's Zach we penetrating. Got a, we got a space, Coach. Yes, we got. We could almost shake hands in. It's going to be a backcourt violation when Zach picks it up. That's one we don't need. The um, This is up here, and I'm not trying to coach Zane, and it's not him individually. Our post players, when we drive like that, almost need to slide up that lane line. Yep. Now, I'm not sure I agree with the mechanics on this. I thought this one should have been a side one, but they've changed the placement of where balls are thrown in so the officials could easily be right. Caleb and Aiden, and Aiden uh, kind of gave him a little fake there yeah. with getting the ball, and good job. It's pretty nice, Coach, when you have two defenders like DJ and Ridgely, and your third best probably, Aiden Shaw, is a really good defender. You know, Aiden Shaw on a lot of teams would be either the best or second best. That's right. Three-point lead with under four minutes to go in the second quarter. Again, we're getting too close with that. Jaden may need to move towards the baseline, and I, I think Kyle was trying to tell him that. It's loud in here, though, loud enough that uh, sometimes unless you have visual communication, you can't hear it. Good gymnasium, SQ Gymnasium, beautiful place. We still have Kaufman Gymnasium that we can practice, and even it's playable in games, too. That's the way they, are, they have been coached. Here's the shot by Zane White. Nice-looking three-pointer. Everybody's going to start to fall when Jaden drives. Yep. You see the guy start to fall, and he didn't get enough to make it believable. Looks like Trace Robinson going to check back in. Caleb Williams on the point. He'll kick it off and cut opposite. Tompkins. Wow. I could have made a case for a charge then, too. Yeah, that's a, that's a cheap one there. That's Mosley's fifth, team seventh. It'll be the one in the bonus. Vaughn checking back in. DJ checking in. Trace Robinson back in for them. And this will put Tompkins on the line. Lecky Thompson for two shots. Or one. It should be one and one, not two. Let's see what they give him. It was one. He hit it. He's a good basketball player. Here comes the other rifleman. So we've got the rifleman and the junior rifleman in there now. The only words I'll give to both of those shooters is balance eye, elbow, and follow through, the beef method. Levin Lane about to check in for TCA. Second one by Tompkins missed, skying up there. And look at Aiden Shaw. Not only did the front two guys sky, he did too. 16-14. 
Good white knuckler here. Here is Vaughn looking. He's got Borkin, and Borkin, yeah, that, that is smart. He did not come back down because he wouldn't have got it back up. They would have recovered. Really good look there. They had to respect the shooter up top and uh, too far extended on that zone. Good job on both ends of that play. And I, that's it, Gage, slide baseline. And y'all watch for little things like that in the post area. You make like a half moon around the guy. And we, they got the angle on us and probably going to get Zane White for a block. We'll see from Floyd Flippin, the official. And it is Zane. It should be his second. I know. T Go ahead, Brian. Sorry, Coach. No, no. I know he, this is in the scouting report. We have to make Waller make an outside shot. We have to back up and force him. He's gonna. He's a driver first, and we got to make him do that. I would stay an arm's length away from him. He's at the line for two. Missed it. it must have been one and one. Yeah, caught it on the floor. Okay, I did not see that. That's the reason Brian's here with us. Two twenty-three. We have a four-point lead. The Eagles do. Now we got people capable of both wings. Three-pointer. Now, if I was going to correct one thing on Aiden, you see his head go back. He's, it's got to go straight up and down and cut down on the motion. I like how deep Mason is getting up top in that zone and kicking it out. Yes. DJ, but that's a good battle, he and Caleb. Caleb Williams, who's the dad is the head coach, but his mom is the great gunner from Hardin County and Lambeth University. She was Amber Selvog before her and Dexter got married. DJ Trailer Love, I've watched this young man, going to miss him being gone next year. Yes, credit card time. And you know who drew the charge? The rifleman drew it on Tompkins. That's a good time. He got hit twice and fell on the second one, but that's a strong yeah. young man engaged, taking it right in the chest and, and taking the charge. Absolutely. You know, do we give Gage an Academy Award? No, I think he got hit, but uh, on yeah. the second one. I would like to have seen him fall on the first one. You got a wolf coming behind you. Yep, good job picking it out, and I think the kids hollered. Boy, that one edged by a busted. Mason Vaughn. Oh, I was ready to say bottoms, but it didn't go. Boykin with the rebound. Shaw wants to work, gets it to Mason Vaughn out beyond the spiking line there on the volleyball court. Somebody wrote, what's a three-meter line? Well, that's the spiking line in volleyball. And uh, we're a little stagnant here. We've got to have some movement. And see, they're just matching to us, and that gives their corner time to flex. But Shaw gets through. Nice bank. The bank was open. Tough angle. I didn't know he was going to bank it, Coach, but he knew exactly what he was doing when he got in the lane. Well, he went to that contortionist school that the girls went to so he can twist his body like that. Make him shoot it outside. There we go. Yes. Trace Robinson, he's going, and he's got an angle. Let's see, but he doesn't bank it on the glass where he needed to. Don't reach. Grab, folks. Grab the ball. DJ's going to pick up his second foul and the ninth team foul. The Boo Birds are out. We have good position, and, and they jump over our back, and we don't get a call, and that's what Coach Teichman is asking for, and they call a ticky-tack foul up top. Probably a foul, but – it's got to be. It's got to go both ways there, especially inside. Kyle's uh, movement there and talk looked like he was from the play Hamlet. Caleb Williams at the line, and he is almost automatic at the line. That's his first points. Yeah, you don't want him to get his points there. Get to see one go through the basket. So hopefully this doesn't get him going. And that's all he needs is to warm up because he really hadn't had a whole lot of shots. Second one, nothing but string music. He's got his first two, and it's a four-point game. They bring their press side. Now we got to go back to the middle. We see our spacing got bad again. Mason in a little bit of trouble and until he grows a little more. They can trap him. He likes stepping through it and does a good job. Comes off two screens. And there's the uh, – I checked with the referee today. We talked about tagging, and there's too much of it going on in the whole area. Look at Aiden Shaw. Wow. Nine seconds, Caleb coming down the floor, and Boykin, and I forgot who was a DJ, I guess, or Shaw, was helping on guarding him. They forced a turnover, and we got 5.5 .5 seconds to get a shot off, Brian. Yeah, five seconds, good job. Speeding him up, and then Gage helped in the corner. And we've got four three-point shooters. Zane White, who will inbound, can th shoot the three. Four seconds, three. Aiden Shaw into the forecourt with two, 
one. It goes up. Shaw shot. Good! You saw it. It is good. The magic of Aiden Shaw. And it's 25-16. The gymnasium is full of electricity. We're going to take a timeout with the Eagles leading 25-16. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, round recluse spiders, and other hard-to-treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a crawl space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite and Pest Control can handle all of your termite and pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731 660 10 Looking for a new and exciting career? At Jackson State Community College, we offer nationally recognized, top-rated programs designed to greenlight your career for success. With courses available in the health sciences, nursing, computer technology, and much more, your next step towards a career starts here at Jackson State. Learn how Jackson State Community College can greenlight your future at greenlightyourfuture.com. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. back here at Jerry Eskew Gymnasium. Uh, Mr. Blake Beckham on the court doing some drawings here for our students and coach joined by Coach Shelton. Coach Shelton, 25-16. I've seen you down there in the corner playing some defense. <laughs> um, what is uh, what you see in the first half from our guys? Well, we did a great job defensively of containing. Kyle does such a good job. Their staff does such a good job with scouting report defense going to take some things away but when you do that then you got to guard somebody individual right and Braden Waller zero does a good job the Williams kid does a good job so you got to be able to fake and stay with a shooter or give as much help as you need to and we've done a great job of that and it blocked out well yeah I, and it blocked out well and, and there's been some maybe some contact there that we're not getting but I think we will um, one thing, Coach, I, you know, Braden is getting to the rim a little bit, and I'd like to see us back off of him a little bit more. Mason did a great job on the corner there where he, he stayed close enough. So um, what about, you know, the big threes early from Jaden and DJ? We kind of were reeling a little bit, and we needed some, some leadership to step up, and those guys did. That was good against the zone, and we keep seeing it because we're going to have to make some shots or be able to attack it inside. The one thing we did late – and you had a great view of it where you're sitting up here. We stayed high and spread them out because we're up a little bit. Then they got to come and chase. Then those lanes are open to be able to penetrate and be able to do things and give yourself an opportunity. I like what Kyle did putting Aiden off the ball and putting Mason at the top because he makes good decisions. And they got to respect him enough if he drives that paint and then he's kicking out. So I really like that, that change up. What we finally – um, we're, we're begging for it up here. We finally threw Jalen the lob inside. Is that something that um, you think Coach Teichman has been trying to get his guys to do? Oh, for sure. We're trying to attack the back of the zone. And if Jay will put a body on a guy and have a chance to go get it, 
with the pass coming from on top, the top down. The one to Gage was the one to Gage was a better pass. Yeah. The one that uh, Mason threw to him from the top. That top down feed is really hard to guard because everybody's staring at the ball. If you've got a guy in behind it that puts a body on somebody, you can make that top down feed. Yeah. It's just attacking the back of the zone. Which that's not anything new, but that's just a concept of no matter where you are against the zone, we get the one where we turn it around, where we loop, make the cutter from the other wing, take it to the other side. But then if the ball's on the left wing, everybody's facing it. So now the back of the zone's over here. Yeah. So it's some kind of skip, basket cut, the cut from behind, or a skip and a postman sealing in and getting something that way. And it's a, a lot of this having a confidence to make the pass and trust, and that, there's a lot to that. Coach, let's switch gears. Uh, my girls, um, you know, last time at their place, I think it was a 20-point game just about the whole game, maybe more. But tonight, we're, you know, we're down eight at the half. We cut it to seven there. Coach Schutz calls a timeout, I think, with 2.12 to go in the third quarter. And we make a, a run from 11 to seven. Um, and a little girl from Trinity makes a three to cut it back. But th those girls, I mean, we can't say enough about their effort and how hard they're playing. And I talked to Coach Teichman about this. Do you think they're figuring out that zone and what Coach Schutz wants out of that? I think they are. And they do a couple, two or three different things out of it. The, the situation is they work extremely hard. And I, I don't – this is not a knock on some of the young ladies that we have. But they're, some of them are not – the heaviest girls on the court. People like Elena and Lily, they do a great job of trying to hold their ground, trying to be strong and fight through, but there are times when you get bodied by somebody that's a little bigger and the officials aren't going that way, and I'm not saying it was an official screwed something up, but if they're not making that call and you got to play through it, sometimes you're at a disadvantage. And I thought we made Lee earn – Earn her. I think she had 21, maybe. I think, I think she had to earn those tonight. There was a couple open looks um, that she got, but that team does a good job moving without the ball, and I, I thought we did a much better job. Yeah, that's a really good. I mean, that. that's a really good team. We faced the last two games. We played two teams that are going to have a chance. I mean, I, I don't know what's on the other side of the, the state, but those two girls' teams will have a chance to win it in our, in our classification. And we're competing with them and giving ourselves an opportunity, and the girls just continue to improve every game. Absolutely. Coach, before we take one more break, give us, uh, give us the key to victory that, that Coach Teichman is talking about here in the, in the locker room. Continue what we're doing defensively. Take care of the ball on the offensive end. Being sure that we're getting good shots. The issue And playing against the press. Being sure that we attack the middle of the zone. If we bring it up and we crack it back, look for that deep diagonal to try to make them pay for pressing at least one time and see if you can get them to back out of it a little bit. Absolutely. That's Coach Jason Shelton, our athletic director, Dean of Students here, getting after it down there in the corner with Dr. Benton. Uh, we want to thank him for coming up uh, at halftime. 25 to 16, Aiden Shaw hits a three at the buzzer. Let's take a one-minute timeout and then come back with Coach Joe and more from the Ball Game Blitz. A one-minute timeout. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. Thompson & Smith, the area's premier independent insurance brokerage, has been serving families and businesses in the region through its founding companies since 1927. With their many insurance company partners, Thompson & Smith provides insurance products for family, home and auto, contractors, retailers, restaurants, manufacturers, medical and dental clinics as well as any other business or organization seeking quality coverage, risk management expertise and customer-focused service. Call them today to discuss your insurance needs. We are back, and Brian and I both would have liked to have been flies on the wall of both the dressing rooms. I have experienced the, not necessarily the TCA, but Dexter probably lit a fire under his young men, 
and he's got Antoine there to help him. Kyle, a great teaching coach, just like Dexter is. I got a feeling he lit a little fire, even though we've got some fire. Yeah, you, you're both ways on both sides of this. You have to challenge our guys to not, even though we're nine points ahead, you, you can't let down, no let ups. And then on the opposite side of that, I'm sure there was a, a different approach from Coach Williams and for his lines. And, uh, you know, Aiden, what a great shot at, there at the buzzer. And, and you got to have, in games like this, you got to have big players step up and make plays. And it looks like we've gone back with our starting lineup Shaw, Trailer, Irvin, Mosley, and Ridgely, Reagan. Well, that last group that was on the floor did a good job. Was that a 9 0 run? Yeah, if it wasn't, it was close. I believe so, yeah, Coach. It was close. And uh, I think one of our good fans who uh, contributes and is. He lets us know he's watching the game here in the gymnasium, agrees with me. It'll be TCA's basketball, and they really want to score on this first possession. That's not always necessary, but this time it is. You, anybody wants to. Here's Caleb Williams, three, and it rattled out, and Windex man, rebounder par excellence, Mr. Clean himself, Jalen Mosley got the rebound. Shaw, he and Robinson having a little good battle. It's the right kind of battle. Good defense, good offense. Ridgely Reagan guarded way away from the basket by Weiser. No, that's Waller. That's a good battle there, too. We feed to Mosley. He wanted to go up. Now he's just got a hook pass out of there. And stay with it. Go back to the short corner, Jaden. You were right. Let's see. They've come out man to man, though. And we'll see. The basketball belongs to them. So they have switched and gone man. Yeah, they, they went back to man. Uh, hit a couple threes there, so maybe they, I, I expect him to switch it up. Dexter will play man. That's what he played at Liberty. He played that almost 99% of the time with a little 2-3 zone. Now, good hands by Aiden. Aiden, be careful with them, though. Here is a, leaving it short, Wiser. We played that drive quite well, and yep. that's what he's known for. Doing a good job not fouling. Of course, they've got Wiser and Trace Robinson out there. Keltner is out there. Caleb Williams, nice play. We just got a little deep. They say it was a clean block. Long pass, Jaden got down there, forced him to come under, but this is a good shot for Waller right there when he's, and he's inside the arc. I wish we could have had an official get down there. I think he stepped out of bounds. He may have. I'm like you. I'm not as good an angle as I normally am to see whether they're out of bounds or not. And I didn't look at the monitor. Shame on me. DJ, he loses it. They got a block. Oh. I can see that. Yeah. He looks out of control, but there's a reason he was. Yeah, there's a lot of lower yeah. body action. See, everybody watches for the fouls up top. Sometimes there's some fouls in the lower leg area. That is Robinson's first foul. Team first in this half. It was on the floor, so we run our offense. Some movement this time. I would like to see us run the backdoor play. Here is DJ's shot. It comes off Irvin's leg. Keltner got it. Covered it up. Made the big elbow swing. Caleb kicks it out. This is why Waller has warmed up. Was that a three, Brian? I believe, I didn't. It, I believe it was. Yes, it was. I see now. So they've cut the lead to four. It's not that we've come out sluggish as they're playing harder than we are yeah. right now. What balance. 12th point of the night for Shaw. There's a timeout taken on the floor. Like we'll timeout. take one with the Eagles leading by six. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Back on the ball game blitz network, Brian Bullard, Coach Joe Holloway, we both coach. Is there a sport you hadn't coached? I haven't coached wrestling or soccer. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done soccer. Well, if you count 
a couple of days of little kids soccer, <laughs> but that's about it. That's about it. Good man-to-man -man defense employed by both teams. They run the double stack play that I've seen Dexter run. Good strip. We keep it trailer, but the strip belongs to Aiden Shaw. No foul on that one. Williams Shaw, the number one's matched up. He split it, layup. He's got 14. He came to play. Ah, the credit cards are out all over the place. I see people holding up MasterCard. Great take there. And what I like, too, is Jalen Mosley there from the backside as well to clean it up. Second team foul. Foul on Weiser. He's got three, according now. My The scoreboard agrees with me. Thompson and Smith scoreboard here doesn't show fouls. But, uh oh no. That's a good job. If he had dribbled it again, they would have got him because that wouldn't be considered a fumble. Irvin, if he hits it a higher on the glass, it's a bank, and the bank would be open. TCA with the basketball. Caleb Williams gets it to Trace Robinson. Three-pointer up, no good, air ball. Rebound Mosley, and there come the air ball guys out. Who knows, we may even have an air raid down there before it's over with. Trace Robinson matched up with Shaw, and that's a good battle because Trace for them is a battler. Shaw has already shown you his medal tonight. Ridgely Reagan about 30 feet from the basket. Kicks it off to Jaden. We've got better spacing this time. It gives us some lanes. They come to help on the drive. we got to move the ball a little quicker. Mosley wants it. It just won't stay down. Oh, they're going to get they're going to get us on the foul. I thought we had it clean. Yeah, Jay might have could have got one, but I thought Ridgely had it clean. Now, it looks like Vales is going to come in for them. Now the foul is, who'd they give it to? It, oh, it goes to Ridgely. And that's a tough break for Ridgely. It's his third foul and our team first of the half. Zane White looks like he's in the ball game. Mason Vaughn. Shaw's not going to get much rest tonight. Now we've got to switch this out. Well, then they'll get DJ. I thought there might could have been a foul on Keltner, not on him at called again, but, but then they let – that shouldn't have been a foul. Yeah, we, we just – more of the stories, we got to go hard to the boards yeah. and secure it. And we're going to have to start ripping it off there hard and holding it hard. DJ's got three fouls, and that is an item. First shot up and good. And Waller is having – he's having a game here in just this quarter. He's got six already in the quarter, 12 for the ball game. 29-22, second one, shot it off the front of the iron, rebound. Shaw's going to mostly wisely let off. And, folks, you can fuss at me, keep the nachos out of my mouth when I'm talking. Oh, uh, that one they played and forced us into a turnover, and we really didn't help our ball handler. Vaughn goes out there, three is off, and Keltner comes flying in there. And DJ feels like they're going to get him, and they are, and that is his fourth foul. Zach Creasy will have to check in. I don't know, Brian, about that one. Well, uh, Could have gone either way. Yeah, but, again, we got a box out. Yeah, Kelder's going to the boards. He's a big physical guy. They're either going to call a foul or they're not. And right now they're not calling that, so we just got to put a body on them and force them to make a call. He is a big gentleman. He'll get his second free throw after missing the first. Shot it. It rolls off. So other than putting DJ in foul, bad foul trouble, he'll be gone for the rest of this quarter, and it'll be up to how long will they hold him in the fourth quarter. We go to Zach Creasy. He's guarded by Waller. There's a, that's got to be a foul on Trace Robinson. And... I feel for Trace on that call. Yeah, it's tough. He's chasing Aiden all over the floor. They're going to bring Tompkins in. Coach now, giving Keltner a rest. Is my count right? Robinson has two. Yes, it's just two. Uh, Vaughn, and I'm about to get a baseball name out, out of it and call him Mo Vaughn. There's the Euro step, soft. Boy, he has been soft with that tonight. Six in the quarter, 16 in the contest. 
Aiden Shaw. Caleb's pushing off, but the referees couldn't see it. We can up here. Here's Caleb Williams, three-pointer, bouncing off the iron. Zach's got it. He gets pressure. We lose it. Zane was not expecting that. No. Tompkins wisely did not shoot that shot. And we've got to drop and help. And Bale's pass. I think there was some miscommunication, and they were all bundled up there. Yeah, they had no, they had poor spacing. And Tompkins was outside for some reason. Uh, you know what? I would have to tell him, don't you ever leave that lane. Let's see how they call that one. I, I was afraid the young man from where his angle was would see it that way. From his angle, that's what he saw. That doesn't mean he's right. That will be Jalen's third foul, if I am correct. That is an item, because there's two long minutes left in this quarter. 31 22, <laughs> 157 on your Thompson and Smith scoreboard clock. Great insurance agency. We play man. TCA's been playing some man, and there's a battle with Weiser and Zach. We had a steal, didn't grab it. We tried to dribble it out of there. Euro step by Vales, and he gets through there. His first two, and he gets his team back to within seven. Here's the 1 2 1 1 press, and another steal. Left it short. Left it short again, and this time Waller will score. They've cut it to five. Now we got to get our spacing and get people in the right spot. We're allowing them to match with us too easy. They'll try to double him if they can. They're playing man-to-man, -man, they being TCA with a minute 10. We go to Mosley right wing. He can drop, step, and go. He did. He pulls up, gives it off. Zach Creasy gives it to Vaughn. Vaughn wants to go to the hole. His shot, what will they call? A blocking foul, yes. That's a big answer, Coach, and a big basket for Mason if they count it. Are they going to count do. it? Mason yeah. Vaughn has picked it up and gets a chance at an old-fashioned three-point play. Yeah. And here comes the muscle. Gage Boykin, who took that charge while ago, is going to give Mosley some time. Ridgely Reagan is in. For TCA, Malden, number 13, has come in. It's a big basket for Mason. A couple turnovers on the other end and a good answer from the young player. We need the free throw mm -hmm. rule right here. Let's compete this three-point play, and it doesn't. Comes out. They'll probably get one of either Ridgely or Boykin, and it may be on Boykin. No, they go Ridgely, and we'll have to bring Jaden Irvin back in very quickly. That's four. On There's a lot. <laughs> I, I don't know how, I mean, everybody's in there banging around for a rebound. It's, it's tough. It is. I'm glad they're officiating and not us. That's right. I know Floyd Flippin do not know the other two gentlemen, although the guy on the far side looks like the gentleman we had. There's a good steal. Boykin has come up with some tough plays Yeah, tonight. he read car, He read Vails and, and knew where he was going with it. The gentleman that was on the far side now, the baseline official, looks like the gentleman that was at uh, USJ the other night. Mm, oh. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure either. And the foul is the first one on Braden Waller. Team fifth. We've got five. Ball goes out of bounds. It was last touched by them. 33-26, seven-point lead. Boykin inbounds to Mason Vaughn. Mason's logging a lot of time at point guard, but that takes some pressure off of, of Shaw. He can do other things. Here's Boykin, the three. He's leaning back, though, a little bit off. The shot was good. They will get Zach for a push-off probably. That's the way they're going to see it. Did they see it that way? No, they, they hit Zach with a technical. He followed him the whole way. Zach was frustrated, and his emotions got the best of him. And not only does he get the personal foul, but he also gets another personal for the technical. TCA can get two free throws and they get the ball out on the side with 18.9 seconds. Caleb Williams, a great free throw shooter up there and he drains it. He was already two for two. 
that's the kind of things we cannot do. That's right. He can bring them to within five with this, and then they'll get the basketball. He does. It'll be inbounded on the far side court looking at the scorer's table. I just, we, we, you cannot do what you're doing. Dexter signaling in play two. I know what he wants. Uh, he may not call it two anymore, but that's what it is. Going, they'll send him off of, out of the box and run Caleb on the baseline. They cleared out. Boykin has saved us a basket. We, he had no backside help. They fumble it. It's over in the third quarter. 33-28. The Eagles are leading the Lions. Let's take a timeout on the Ball Game Blitz Network. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Automotive Van Drive, Jackson. We are back here. I'm sitting here scribbling in my scorebook a little bit. We only had two people score in that quarter. That is not good. That's great the plays Aiden made, Shaw, but Vaughn scored the other basket, and we missed a free throw. And they had four people score with the big quarter coming out of the uh, Waller. He had eight, gives him 14 in the game. Shaw has 16. But it is up to the other players besides those two gentlemen on each team. What do we need here, Brian? We got to come out with a good possession here and continue to build on this lead. We know they have fire firepower, excuse me. We know they can come back. We got to make good decisions here with the basketball. Okay, Mason Vaughn still at point guard. Boykin's in there, Mosley's in there, Shaw. And they've got Waller hawking Shaw, but Shaw gets a step, pulls up 15 footer off the back of the iron. Boykin pulls the rebound away and Bales may have uh, an injury. Boykin wanted to go up. I think he got fouled. Bales may need to uh, see if he's got a cut because you have to come out of the game if there's any blood shows. Foul is on Bales. He's got two. I'm going to check it. I think he's, they may have missed one. I think I'm right this time. I think he has three. No, he doesn't. He has two. That's... Look at my bar. There's Mosley. That's good anyway because uh, Weiser went up through the bucket. Mosley, a big basket. He's got six on the night. And three-pointer, I presume that's Caleb because he was backing up. Uh, that, still was, right. that was Keltner, right, was mid-range Keltner? jumper. Okay, just a two-pointer. We lost him. That's probably good. That's what you get for looking down at your scorebook. They nearly stripped us on the press, and they're going to they're gonna hawk Shaw now. He gets past two of them. Wants to get rid of it to Jaden Irvin. Jaden probably touched it last. Let's see what the officials say. They, uh, they're going to call jump ball. That's, that's good when they can't agree. Now, TCA will get the possession, but we get the next one. Yeah, that, that's a good, I guess them coming together. But from here, it looked like that ball hit off of Jaden. Yeah. 30 to 20, uh, 35, 35, 30. I'll, Reverse them, get it right. Jackson Christian leading. They're going to run that box, and they'll have a couple of screens and change sides. And they were trying to give Caleb Williams some room to work. Good defense by us. They're going to call the foul. On, it should be on the floor. They'll get Aiden Shaw, though, for that one. Just his second. And Seven team fouls, so it'll be one. He hasn't missed. He's four for four from the line. Believe it or not, that's his only four points. He is a very good free throw shooter. And that one rolled around, but it fell in. Shooter's touch. It's a four-point game. He can cut it to three at the 648 mark in the fourth. 
and most important quarter. Shot it off the back of the iron. It's tipped around. There's got to be a foul there too, wasn't there? See what the official, I could name a couple of people. See, oh. that's the one I'm having trouble with, Coach. That's on them, and I'm grateful for it, but there's bodies banging around everywhere. I don't know how you pick one guy out. That's, you know, that's an interesting question. We'll take it. But we've also been on the other end of that. They say Williams got the foul. I thought it was five. I thought it's he called five. It. That's yeah. Well, they got it right now. Yeah, they got it four. That's four on Wiser. Irvin hits. Well, I thought he was going to hit a big free throw and it hit the iron. That's what I get for calling it early. Boykin thought he had Keltner. Keltner has to dish it off those. We got help. They take the shot and they knocked us off the rebound. Caleb Williams shot misses, and it'll be another one of those high-flying rebounds by Mosley. I mean, it's There's a, the tagging on Boykin, but they don't call it. It's a scrum on every rebound. Yep. And you like that. Both teams playing hard. 35-31, 6-16 in counting. Don't forget about Ness Realty and Lonnie Cobb Ford is two of our sponsors. They're going to get Aiden, I bet. No, thank goodness they got it right this time. It so, was wrong early. So Aiden will go. Let's see, they, they called it on the floor, didn't they? They did. Zane White. Boykin gave us some good minutes. Zane gives us some good minutes. I have a feeling we'll see Tompkins in a second. Shaw has not been to the free throw line. He has now, and he's one for one. Has 17 points. It's a five-point lead, 6-0-4. Aiden Shaw, just a junior. Shot it, and it spins out. Boy, that one had a lot of spin. We get it back. Did you see how that ball was spinning? Yep. Mosley wants to drive. Wow, no call. Mosley, that is a big shot. That is not his shot, but he hit it. Big-time shot there by Jay. They've got a timeout. We're going to take or Actually, it's Kyle Teichman's timeout. We'll take a 30-second timeout. So we get asked a lot, why come to Hub City Deli? I got three reasons for you. First, we're local. Spending your dollars in a local business keeps those dollars within the community. Second, our people. Our staff are the most hardworking folks in the business. I couldn't do it without them. They are my most valuable asset. Lastly, our food. The food is what keeps the guests coming back. We source the highest quality ingredients available. Most of our food is scratch made with love every day. So what are you waiting for? Come see us at Hub City Deli, your craft deli. And we are back. Great job by summer. Just taking me a little long with my book. Uh, we need a good defensive stand right here. We need to get that lead up to nine or ten. Absolutely, and, and Jay with a big shot. Fortunate, uh, maybe got a push off, but also I think they're doing a good job of trying to create that contact. But like you said, Coach, up seven. This is a big stretch. I uh, I like this crew. They're trying hard, but they have been inconsistent in both games. And that one goes out of bounds off of Tompkins, and I thought. Uh, they would bring the big man. He has probably got 35 pounds at least on Zane White. Yeah, and Jalen did a good job kind of pulling the chair out from under him and getting the turnover there. Yes, he did. Zane, an experienced senior ball club. His dad played some basketball when I was an assistant at North. You got to get it across. You got to get it. And here comes Zane quickly. Way to go. Senior experience. Vaughn picks it up, gets it out to the senior. And now the man has been working Shaw, and he, he, he taps. He taps. Robinson's hand. I like that. I would say Tompkins probably fouled Brother Mosley. I like that matchup because he's, he's going to struggle to ca carry him off the dribble. And Jay can get to his left hand there. Let's hope he can knock down these free throws. Nine team fouls. Mosley's not been to the line. He has eight points. It's a one and one. Tompkins comes out. Keltner, the much more experienced of the two men. And I'm going to tell you what, those two bump shoulders. And the earth, I thought it shook. <laughs> They're both big guys. Dexter, if I don't know if you can see him in pick. Now you got a great picture by our crew of, of Mosley at the line. Jalen shot up off the back of the iron. 
Zane tried for the rebound, got just barely knocked away from it, and they are on the run, and they've got the angle to the bucket. And they're going to get a basket and a try at an old-fashioned three-point play. If you're going to foul them, you got to get where you can bar the arms down. That is Mosley's fourth foul. So TCA is going to try for the old-fashioned three-point play. DJ Trailer with four coming in for Irvin. It's going to be important right here, Coach, for Jalen to, to play defense without fouling. A lot of time. Yep. Looks like Waller at the line with the basket. He has 16. This could be his 17th. A lot of stuff going on, and it's good. That pulls TCA back to within four of the Eagles. And they're trying to they match up, and then they'll sneak over for the double team. we got to get somebody in the middle. We're probably going to have to call a timeout unless Irvin can pull a rabbit, and he does out of the hat. Three men pursue him, and he gets it out to Vaughn. Vaughn's going to try to split the difference, goes to Mosley. It rolls off because they had a guy fall down, and it altered Jalen's progress to the basket. And you can do that because TCA has the basketball. Is that Robinson down on the floor? I believe so. I would like to have seen Jalen take one more dribble and lay that in. But also, I don't know how long Trace was down there on the ground, so he might have been up underneath him. He was, and that's yeah. what altered his progress. And we've got an injury time out here. We don't know how quick they will end it, so we'll keep it here. It's 38-34, Jackson Christian with a four-point lead, but a long four minutes and 44 seconds to go. And again, some of the great people, and please tell them you appreciate them. Aloha Pools, Southeastern Termite and Pest Control, Elite Dental, McCoy's Heating and Air, Hub City Deli, Kaufman's Furniture, Arrington Funeral Home Directors, Bank of Jackson, King Jewelers, Lonnie Cobb, Ford, Ness Realty, and of course, Blacksmith Restaurant, and a good hand for him. Coach Shelton does everything, doesn't he? He's even taking the little uh, mop and mopping the floor there. That's right. Oh, I remember when he was at David Lipscomb, and, you know, he was a great second baseman in high school. Yep. Maybe the biggest second baseman I've ever seen, <laughs> though, as far as height. Most second basemen are, you know, 5'9", maybe 5'10", at the most. Coach a little taller than that. Waller, Braden Waller to inbound it. They're fine wide out. They go into the backcourt to Vales. Ridgely back in. Yeah. Caleb Williams, three off the back of the iron. We got to stay after it, not one-handed. We got to go get it with two, and they get it back. They're going to attack. Keltner is going to take it to the hole, and he gets it. They are within two. Another white knuckler here. Now we got a timeout with our possession, Kyle Teichman. He takes a timeout. We'll take one on the ball game blitz. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman's. Two great ads there to go along with a great ball game. White Knuckler, TCA down by two. Jackson Christian has the possession. They'll throw it in in front of the TCA bench. Ryan, we're, we're handling the ball a little loose. Yeah. And now what you'll see is Ridgely going back into that spot, being the swing guy, and he does a good job with that. So hopefully we're able to handle this pressure here a little bit better. And they'll match up and go man on this. And 
probably they'll bring somebody to double. Actually, they switched to their 2 2 1. They matched and then showed that. Here's Mason Vaughn. He needs to get out of that corner, or they'll double him. I would love to see Ridgely catch the ball with two hands. Come to it. Can't pick that dribble up, and you got to meet your passes. A lot of times people will foul you if you'll meet those passes. And that's a push, and that should be two shots. Did Shaw have a blowout in his shoe? Or I'm, hoping is he hurt? He's, I'm hoping he's not cramping. He kind of grabbed at that toe. That's the 10th foul, so Aiden Shaw, who missed his last free throw, will shoot two now. And you're right, get the mustard and the uh, or the pickle juice out. First one shot it, got it. And he needs the slightest of blows on the sideline to get a little bit, get that worked out. Second one shot it, got it. Gives his team a four point lead again at 40-36. Really need a really good defensive stand. Keltner's in there at center. They'll get in their box and they'll have some crossing. And there'll be some picks. Well, this time they're just going to post up. And they empty out. They've got a shooter on the baseline. But Keltner, we have not got the answer for Keltner the last couple of trips down the floor. It's tough when Jalen has four. He can't use his body as much. Clear out of there, Mason. There you go. 40-38, two-point lead. Vaughn trapped running one-hander. It got blocked from behind. And I thought a foul. I thought he was fouled in the back myself. Referee didn't see it that way. Here's the shot Caleb Williams missing, and there was a push off, big time push off by Weiser. And if that is his foul, Will Weiser has fouled out of the ball game. And when you see the shirt pulled out like that, you have fouled out. Vales will come back in. Big free throws coming up here for Jackson Christian. Reagan at the line, he has not scored tonight. Wants to balance eye, elbow, and follow through. Don't worry about rebound. Let Mosley and Trailer handle that. It's up, no good. He'll get a second one. Stay with it. Stay with it. Don't fall back. Stay yeah. with it. Remember, balance eye, elbow, follow through, and leave that hand over the cookie jar. Caleb Williams starting to sneak down, but Shaw with him. Second one got it, gives us a three point lead. His first points of the night. Here's Vales with the basketball, Cooper Vales. Vales a senior himself. DJ's got to play really careful and he blocks and that was a good block. They're gonna run their one out of bounds or their thumbs up, thumbs up. He changed his mind. He, Dexter wants to have a timeout to talk it over. He wants a full one. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be back on the Ball Game Blitz. Championship DNA. That's what you find at Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. A full line of new Chevrolets plus West Tennessee's largest used car inventory. State-of-the-art service work and pre-approved auto loans online at JonesChevroletHumboldt.com. Shop with a winner. Jones Chevrolet at Three Way. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We are back, see our cheering section. Brian, we need a great defensive stand. Dexter is not only going over an out of bounds play, he is talking about how they're going to defend, and it's too early yet, but he's talking about when he may even give them a few future instructions about fouling. Yeah, and also we know what play he was running, yep. and so he may have a variation of that. To, if we cheat it and think we know what's coming from film, he may have them doing something off of that. So we'll see um, what play they go to here. Let's see. They have Keltner, Robinson, Waller, Williams, and Vales out there. We've got Vaughn. Trailer, Mosley, Reagan, and Shaw. Oh me, they're gonna who they're gonna get for a hold. They get Mason for the hold, his first foul. Team tenth foul, so TCA will be at the line and uh, 
So far tonight, Waller has shot his free throws quite well. He's, he's missed one, but, or actually two. And I'm gonna check my book now, I see three, but he gets two here and he drains that first one, makes it a two point game. He can make this a one point contest. All eyes in the gymnasium on Braden Waller. Shot it, got it. So 41-40 game, here comes the press. It's 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. In the old days, that would have been a hold that they would have put on the defender on trailer. I feel like I'm at a MMA match in which DJ Trailer saved us a turnover. Yeah, great job catching that ball. Let's get in our offense, here we go. I hate to sound like a wet blanket. I see some tired legs on the gentleman in white. Yep, they'll get the block. Hey, I don't know what anybody's upset about. You heard me say they'll get the block. Yep. Now we need Jalen just to put that golden arm of his over the rim. Yeah, nice and easy. Let it up there, give it a chance. Jalen has not hit a free throw tonight. He's only taken one. He'll get two this time no matter what. Every free throw important. See how it came, and it came towards the – it comes out of his fork on his left hand, and it went towards the right. This one's got to have the index and middle finger go straight over that rim. A lot of noise in the gym. Looked good, but hit the back of the iron, and so they have a chance to take the lead with 219 and counting. Keep an eye on that Thompson-Smith scoreboard while you're watching the game. We go for the trap. We rotate. We've got a shooter open in the corner. They didn't see him. And they go to him. Trace Robinson cranks it up, misses it. DJ pivots away from, always pivot away from pressure. 155 and counting, getting exciting. Now, this is a good place if we would clear the left side of the floor for Mosley to go one-on-one -on -one with Keltner. And I think Kyle may have wanted that and our player on the left side didn't see it. Now again, Mosley could go one-on-one -on -one with Keltner right now. Now they know that, that Mosley's not gonna shoot it. We're running a little outside weave with 127. Antoine uh, trying to give his young men, uh, he's Dexter's assistant and may be in charge of part of the defense and he was wanting a little more hand action tracing the ball. Keep the dribble, keep the dribble the DJ, count, you gotta get rid of it. That was a foul right there and they got away with it. And good timeout by Kyle Teichman. As Kyle takes a timeout, the ball game blitz will take a timeout with the Eagles leading by one. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. The most important benefit when you buy from Jones Chevrolet at Three Way? Peace of mind. Jones Chevrolet's warranty forever comes with every qualifying new and pre owned vehicle. Powertrain coverage for as long as you own your vehicle. Find out more at Jones Chevrolet in Three Way. We are back here in this super white knuckler. Two of these games, we had one of these at TCA. Let's set it 104 left in the game. Jackson Christian with the basketball and a one point lead. Ryan, well, there's so many things both teams need to do. Yeah, and, and we're doing a, a great job down here um, taking care of the basketball, but we're gonna have to get a shot. They're not gonna let us keep dribbling it out. They're gonna put pressure on us. So everybody's gotta be ready. Catch it physical, be strong, make them foul you. We're shooting two free throws. Nothing lackadaisical, nothing lazy, um, and just assume we got reversal there. We got to take care of the basketball. Both teams in the two free throw, or the double bonus, if you prefer to call that. This is interesting. They're going to inbound the ball to Mosley. Shaw will have screen down for him. They could have gotten it in easy. Keltner was not going to chase Mosley. Right. Shaw. I almost would love to see us go 1-4 baseline, and we have done that this year. Kyle knows what's best, though. I trust him. They fouled Zach. Zach will go to the line for two. 
And I think that was a signaled foul. Dexter wanted the foul. He knew that Caleb only had two. And that foul is on him. He now has three. Creasy at the line for two really big ones. It's shot, good. Zach. That one got rain and nothing but net. Good shot, Zach. Do it again. Zach Creasy, who's had a back injury and has not felt good at times with his back, shoots the second one. It goes through and nothing but string music. A three-point lead. They're going to roll it out there, and let's see if we make them pick it up. Uh-oh, Zach slipped. Now we've got a help and recover situation. Caleb Williams, we're reaching. we got to play good defense. They have a back door. They throw it out of bounds, and now – we may try to let the air out of it. Will they let us? Well, we're gonna. This is gonna be the to me one of the possessions of the game, Coach. We got to get it across and then take a foul and go make free throws. Luke Malden may be sent in as the designated fouler. He has none. Although Keltner could still foul. Waller can foul. He only has one. Keep an eye on the count. DJ saved the second one. Get it across. Yep. We got across at the nine count, Brian. I, I count just like I was a referee. Caleb Williams commits his fourth, but again, I think he was signaled or somebody was going to have to commit the foul. Zach Creasy will come back in. No offense to Ridgely Reagan, but you should have taken that one. If you're going to foul Aiden, I, I, I appreciate that. Yes, we'll take it. Aiden Shaw at the line. He's three for four tonight. He'll get two shots. Line drives it in. Yeah, that, that's a miscue there. Um, Coach Teichman going defense, offense for defense with Zach coming in and look for Mason to come back in and on the next change of possession if possible. And they're bringing Robinson back in for TCA. Same way. That one gets in. It climbed in, and that gives us a five-point lead with 28 seconds and counting. Don't TCA, foul. Yeah. Make them shoot over you. Oh, no. No, no. How about the push off? That allows them to score two points with the clock stopped. And again, this is Waller, and he's had a night. He came into this quarter with 14. He's, he's got 19 right now and going to shoot two. And he's a pretty good free throw shooter. His first one up, rolls in. Boy, that one had the shooter's touch danced on the rim, and it's not pig iron. It's steel, United States steel. That probably was a United States steel shot by Braden Waller. Good job by him with the crowd hollering his second one. Up off the iron. They had it. We got it back. Mosley got it. They fouled him. And Jalen has not had a good night at the line, though, Brian. He is over. Yeah, but you know what? You want your, your best players, your big-time players at the line in this moment. And you know one thing about Jalen. He, he embraces it. So. And he will get two. Let's hope he just steps up there and knocks it down. One of the most important stats people don't look at is what does a player shoot in the last two minutes of the game? That's more important sometimes than his overall free throw. We've pulled everybody off the line with 19-9 on the clock. Mosley smooth as silk and better than milk on that one. There you go. Wow. Way to go, Jalen. Do it again right here. Here comes Zach Creasy back in the ball game for defense. Mason Vaughn comes out there for the offense, and he can fill it up if he has to. Second one up there, it bounces off. That will make the clock run. We've got to pick up. Trace wants to take it all the way. We block it clean. Creasy's got it. DJ's got it. Throw it ahead. Mosley in a foot race. Boom. Flush. Let's go. It is in the hole. The time is running out. Mosley ends the game 48-41. We have actually moved into second place by ourselves. We are a half game short of Sacred Heart. And guess who we play Tuesday night? That's a big time finish, Coach. A big time gut check moment by our guys. They did a great job. What in the world do they shoot? Mosley must be a great player as a shooter in the last two minutes. Hey, we got it. Let's watch the crowd for a minute and enjoy that. And then we're going to take a timeout. We'll give it back to Summer, who has done such a great job. Her and Gary, so helpful, along with our shooters. The final score, we'll come back for the Great American Post Game Show, is Jackson Christian, 48, TCA, 41. Let's take that timeout. 
This is how we Friday night. How do you Friday night? This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. This is how we Friday night. No matter how you Friday night, you always win at Kaufman. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Home furnishings, appliances, bedding, and so much more. Kaufman's at the Bypass and Oil Well Road in Jackson. Furnishings for every room in your home. Custom upholstery options, too. And our fully stocked warehouse helps prevent supply chain delays. Kaufman's, for your life. The name you can count on. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers 16B Conrad Drive, Jackson. We offer live webcasting for families. It kind of came out of when so many warriors were going overseas to war. We have learned to offer families more choice that we want to serve our families well and serve our families better. At Arrington Funeral Directors, we accept all prearranged funerals. So you may have prearranged your funeral in this town with another funeral home or even in another state, but we accept all prearranged funerals because we're here to serve families. Serving the Jackson area for over 20 years. Carlock Nissan and Carlock Prestige. The name you can count on. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. The name you can count on. Carlock Automotive. Van Drive, Jackson. At McCoy's Heating and Air, our number one priority is keeping you and your loved ones cozy this holiday season. If your HVAC system needs an upgrade, call McCoy's for quick, quality installation. Don't wait. With the purchase of your new unit, you will receive our Keep Cozy gift bag filled with cozy essentials for the cold weather ahead. To schedule your system upgrade, call 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Holy cow, we're trying to regain our breath and everything. 48-41. The game actually in the fourth quarter was much closer than that for a good portion of it. Brian, give some thoughts, and I'm going to finish totaling my book. We'll have to take one more time out before we get to scoring. But Jalen Mosley really came on in the fourth quarter. Aiden Shaw was consistent all game. Some good bench help. Yeah, we, we did, and, and then once again, um, they cut it to a one-point game, Coach, and we felt a little bit dead in the water. Um, and our guys just made some plays, and we hit some free throws and, and got some stops on the defensive end. Fortunate to get a couple misses from the three-point line from those guys. 
and able to pull one out, Coach, and, and just a, a gut check, gutsy effort uh, by our guys and, and really proud of them and, and how well they stuck with it. Now, with a win Tuesday night, we can take first place back. There's a half game difference. Sacred Heart will play on either the Thursday or Friday after we finish the season. We've got Sacred Heart Tuesday, Tipton Rosemark, I believe, Friday, and then our last trip is down to Fayette Academy. Yeah, and, and that's a – as much as you love this one, and we get to enjoy this one a little bit longer at being on a Friday and have a couple of days, um, we got to rest our legs. we got some tired legs out there. Um, but, you know, you enjoy this one tonight. you got to enjoy it to, to sweep these guys – um, such a great, such a great team, uh, well-coached team, really good players, a lot of respect for those guys and how they play. And to be able to do that is, is tremendous. And, um, you know, we, we hung around with Sacred in our last game, came back down 14, um, took the lead actually, and then they, they stole it back from us. So we got a little taste of our own medicine there. Um, but just a gutsy performance from our guys. Guys stepped up that made free throws. What can you say about our performance? Uh, we won't say anymore because you summed it up. What we will do is take a timeout, come back with the scoring, uh, talk about the boys and girls games and the future in just a moment. You are watching this on the Ball Game Blitz Network on Jackson Christian's Facebook. It'll be archived tonight. Hey, this is Chuck Walker with Southeastern Termite and Pest Control. If you live in West Tennessee, you have a need for the services we offer. We treat for all types of pests, including bed bugs, brown recluse spiders, and other hard-to-treat pests. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to encapsulate a crawl space. Give us a call to hear how to achieve the same thing and save thousands. Southeastern Termite and Pest Control can handle all of your termite and pest control needs, wood fungus and moisture barriers, real estate closing letters, and so much more. Southeastern, 731 660 1052. King Jewelers is not your typical run-of-the-mill jewelry store. Grover is a certified jeweler with 35 years experience. This isn't just a jewelry store. It's an iconic symbol of love. How far would you go for love? King Jewelers, 16B, Conrad Drive, Jackson. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. back crowd hanging around celebrating the eagle is about to fly more than one way here and we're here to wrap that up we'll tell gary lockhart who's always with us summer back with us chris and eric but very quickly for tca brayden waller was their leading scorer with 20 will keltner had 11 caleb williams with five wiser uh, fouled out with two points trace robinson did not score tonight these are unofficial stats cooper Vales with two and Malden did not score. Tompkins had one free throw, and that was all their scoring as Lane didn't score. Mr. Consistency, scoring in every quarter. He had 10 at the half and 21 for the game. You already know it's Aiden Shaw, the junior, and we'll talk about him. And DJ Trailer, he may have only had that one three in the first quarter. DJ played a heck of a floor game, rebounding, defense, you know, he, he reminds me of a guy, you're, you're probably too young to know who Satch Sanders was. He was he was the defensive specialist for the old Boston Celtics. And uh, DJ reminds me of him. Jalen Mosley, he gives you excitement with, he can hit the running one-hander. He can uh, shoot the shot straight up. He's not a three-point shooter, although he has the big bomb. He ended this game, he flushed a dunk 
He had 11 points tonight. Ridgely Reagan, a great floor effort, only had one. Uh, he was one out of two from the free throw line. Jaden Irvin had a big three for his three points. Gage Boykin came on and played a great floor game. And I tell you what, for a big man and a quarterback, he was twisted more than you would take and tie knots and rubber bands and stuff. Made a big two. But Jalen, I mean, uh, Gage's real contributions were his rebounding and his steals. And he played some good defense on Keltner, who had a good game. Then we've got Zane White came on, played his usual floor game great. He's a senior. We hate to see him go. And, of course, uh, Vaughn came on. He had three points tonight. And he does a good job. He, we used him on offense, defense, substitutions late. Zach Creasy, bad back and all, came through in the fourth quarter with two huge free throws. Brian, some comments about them, a few comments about the girls' game, and then read the seniors one more time if you still got your list with you. If you don't, I'll look mine up. Yes, sir. You know, the girls – um, really good effort. Really played hard. Uh, had it at a ten-point game. Had it at a seven-point game, and um, you know their girls did what they do and made shots and were able to pull away. Uh, but proud of them, and, and really excited for these guys and um, just a team effort to win that game. Um, our seniors, one more time: Katie Alexander, Lauren Day, Trinity Brooks, Gage Boykin, Lance Franks, Jaden Irvin, DJ Trailer, Zane White. We want to thank them again for their contributions to Jackson Christian basketball. Just a good night here. Absolutely, and I want to thank, and I know I'm speaking for Brian too, our wonderful camera crew, our directors and producers, and, uh, you know, if we can, let's show their names because we had a great crew tonight. They got you some outstanding shots, and, and look at that, and we're going to talk about them first. Uh, first of all, the director tonight was Summer Sturgis. Glad to see Summer back. You know, she got us through a lot of baseball and softball last year. Gary is here as producer, the executive producer, Paul Schultze. But I want to say Christopher Reasons and Eric Enman, congratulations on some great pictures. We had some great shots of the huddles not all, and action shots, and, and they were there with it on the ball. And your color announcer, who is my good friend, and I, I can't think of anybody better, I, I will miss basketball season because he has to coach baseball. But, you know, Coach Brian Bullard, what a great job he does at everything. Very motivational human being, fun to be around. We had two great guests tonight. Coach Jason Shelton, and I call him Coach because I knew him more. He's our athletic director, dean of students. And, of course, Kyle Teichman, you got to be impressed. Well, you saw two of the finest young coaches in the state of Tennessee tonight, Dexter Williams and Kyle Teichman. Your play-by-play -play was done by Joe Holloway. Now, here's the catch to the whole thing. This is a copyrighted broadcast. Any re broadcast reproduction any messing with the picture, I like to put that in sometimes instead of the smooth way, but the way it really should go is any rebroadcast, retransmission, or further use of this contest without the express written consent of the Ball Game Blitz and Worthy Road Studios is prohibited. And it is just about time to say the magic words. Uh, thanks for your time this time till next time. Go Eagles! That's it. Go Eagles.